to see Leggy Box's craziest videos of 2022. From playing the most hilarious games ever to completing the most dangerous challenges yet. These are some of the most intense Leggy Box videos you will ever see. Make sure to stick around until the end where we show you a crazy video that you're not gonna want to miss. Let's go. Uh, Today we're seeing if we can unlock the brand new Leggy Box morphs in Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach morphs. Okay, now we have seen all over YouTube that the makers of this game have actually added us, Leggy Box, into the game, guys. This is so crazy. Now, this is a super fun game where we're in the pizza plex in Roblox and you collect all these crazy different morphs. Now, guys, as you can see, we've unlocked every single morph in the game. But no way, Adam. No way this is real, dude. This oh! We're in the game! They actually added us in the game. And in this video, we are going to show you how to unlock us and all the other brand new morphs. This is so crazy, dude. Now, we got to find us. Now, Now I'm thinking, where, where would my morph be? I, and I'm thinking, it's in the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the room with the pizzas. If they know me, they'll put it there, guys. I gotta go look, guys. Now, we do not know where they are. We're gonna find them and show you guys every single new morph in the game. It's gonna be crazy lit. Exactly. And there's only one person who likes pizza more than Justin. It's Foxy. That's Foxy. Foxy says, I love that pizza. <laughs> okay, let's go see if there's something in here. Guys, we literally don't know where stuff is. I'm thinking, all right, is there a little clue in here? Now, guys, we learned last time there's a secret passageway here. This is how you get Chica. You got to beat this obby, bro. Oh, the Chica pizza. That's Chica, but there's nothing over there. Nothing new over there, guys. Now, we're looking around. Where would they put Justy Justy from Lanky Box or Aiden? I'm trying to think. Maybe if there's a, you know, a secret place with some... Oh! It's where Adam would be. It's where Adam would be. Let, let me look around, Adam. Let me look around. You guys, let us know in the comments if you have found us in the game yet. Yep, this Pikachu right here. Here is how you get Pika Huggy. Yeah, good idea. All right, guys, I'm gonna go in. Oh, I can't go in here. I'm gonna, uh, let, 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 let's teleport. It's not in the lobby. Maybe it's in the daycare, bro. I do know there might be some of the new skins in the daycare. Bruh. There are 10 Bruh. total skins that we're going to try to find Bruh. brand new skins. This game is super fun, and the fact they added us to the game is pretty crazy, guys. We are big fans of this game. Now, we, we actually did collect every single morph in the game, guys. Right. We got to find Spider-Man Freddy. Oh, that's new. Spider-Man Freddy. Is that... Okay, now this is Spider Freddy, guys. That's Was there something you could press there? What? You, like, walked over to it. <gasps> it's Baldi! No way! It's Baldy Freddy! Wow, we actually unlocked Baldy! Time for your homework! <laughs> you know what I mean, guys? Wait, let's try Baldy Freddy. This is so cool. Hey, yo! Wow! <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Okay, okay, let's morph. Now, what? What? Do you see something? I think I might have just saw something. No way, dude. Do you see it? What? Hold on. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm looking. I'm looking. What are you seeing? Wait, you messing with me, dude? Guys, see if you saw what I just saw. See if you seesaw what Adam saw on the seesaw. Hold on. I'm looking. Oh, no way. No way! It's Foxy! Wait, Foxy, they, they put me in the game? Yeah! Wait, 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 why is that? Is that Lucky Box eating them? <laughs> That's me! Wait, no way, no way. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, we unlocked Adam in the game! Whoa, check out the morph. If you put Foxy on my shoulder, that literally looks exactly like the morph. No way, so do we have to find Foxy to find me? I, yeah. I think so. They put us in the game! Yeah! <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, we still got to find Justin, which we will show you guys how to do in this video. Guys, I think the Justy skin might be one of the hardest skins to find in the entire game, guys. Yeah, we um, might have to save that one for the end. Sonic Roxanne is my favorite because she runs so fast we can explore really fast. That's true. Now, where do you think they might have hid the next skin? Dude, Adam, I know they be, they be putting you in the daycare because Adam be doing a little... <laughs> 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 Mom, I 
want some milk. Yeah, and as Justin's looking, guys, make sure to go to LankyBoxShop.com. Get yourself some Lanky Box plushies. All right, guys, now we found two of the of the ten new skins. Let me go teleport. Okay, I'm gonna go to the tunnels. Would they put me in tunnels? Mm, remember, there are hints on the more. I'm not reading the hints, bro. I'm gonna find myself. I'm, uh, I'm gonna find me. All know? right, all right. Sounds I'm gonna good. find me by myself. Sounds good. You don't understand, dude. <gasps> now, this is where you find mommy long legs, guys, if you haven't seen that already. There might be one in there. Back in the lobby. Hey, Adam, don't give me hints, dude. I'm gonna find me, dude. All right, you got it. I'm gonna find me, dude. Now, I'm looking in here. <clears throat> yeah, the mommy long legs, you just have to, like, follow the end of her arm, and then she, uh... And then that's how you unlock her. Okay, I'm going back to normal. Is there something on this computer? We never use a computer. Oh, Hacker Freddy. <laughs> yeah, dude, Hacker Freddy. I I'm gonna keep set. I'm gonna keep searching. Good idea. There's probably something down here. Probably something down here at the bottom. <gasps> Is there something under here? That's where I'll be hidden, dude. Cause I'm I'm a master at hide and seek. So. That's true. Justin's very good at hide and seek. Look at it. Oh, they no way they put me in the sewers. <laughs> they put me in the sewers. I hope not. I hope I'm not in the sewers. <laughs> But it's possible, guys. Oh, what's down here? It's creepy. I'm gonna explore now. I, I'm gonna look at all the morphs. I'm not gonna look at the hints because that makes it too easy. I'm just gonna start looking. Okay, Zombie Freddy. I think that's probably in the sewers. Yep, Astronaut Freddy. Golden Dwarf Freddy. There's a Spider-Man Freddy, Iron Man Freddy, and we got Tussie, and we got Justin, bro. We and got, Rich Freddy. Yo, we got Rich Bling Bling. Rich Ooh, Freddy. money, money, money. Rich Freddy. All right, now let's start looking, dude. All right. I'm starting to look, dude. Where would Zombie Freddy be, guys? We're going to show you guys all 10 of the new morphs. Mm. I think Zombie Freddy's in sewage. Yeah, because the sewage is green, and so are zombies. That's what I'm saying. And zombies, they, like, live in the sewers. Right. Like Pennywise. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, there's the marker, uh, Freddy. I don't see anything over here, dude. Now, I, knew, I do know there was, like, an invisible thing you could climb over here, but... Oh, a trussel? Let me keep looking. Let me keep looking. Guys, we're going to show you how to find every single skin. Play along with Justin. See if you can spot them before we do. This game is so cool. Let's keep looking. Oh, nope, nothing down there. I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep looking. Hmm. We're gonna find all 10. It's gonna be so lit. Yeah, I really want to find all the new ones. I want to find all the super lit ones, including myself, guys. I think the Justy skin might be max level. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely one of the harder skins to find. All right, guys, now there's a skin over here. We've shown this one before, but it's like a real scary, like, bear hiding over here. I don't see anything in here. I'm going to teleport out of here. All right, where do you want to go? I'm going to go to the daycare pickup. Maybe all right. Like, okay, now we're in the daycare pickup. Would I be here? Now, there's the panda, there's the turtle, and there's, like, the marshmallow huggy. I'm looking. Maybe they put me in the vents. Oh, like a huggy skin? They might have put me in the vents, dude, because they know. Oh, that's the Dominus in Furnace. That one's pretty lit. Maybe they put me in a vending machine because I love vending machines. Mm, I don't know. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold on. Wait, there's nothing here. What if we go to the atrium? Now, the atrium is the biggest area in the whole game. There's got to be something here. I think I might be there. You think so? I, I might be there. All right, all right, let's I see. I don't know, I don't know, guys. We don't know. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Okay, now we well, there's gotta be something here, dude. There's yeah, gotta, there's gotta be at least one new morph in here. I'm sure. We're gonna, oh, Mapbot, go away, Mapbot, go away. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the Spider-Man huggy. That's what I'm looking for. I think Spider-Man will be in here. I think he'd be in a high place, dude. Yeah, you probably have to find like a spider to find him. All right, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna read some of the hints, bro. I, I, I'm gonna read some of the hints. All right, guys, let's see what the hints are to find these morphs. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see what they are. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of morphs. Okay, okay. One of the YouTubers that played game. Okay, so there is no hint for us. That's legit. Okay, we're gonna have to find them. Spiders hanging in the atrium. I knew it, dude. I knew it. And the Iron Man's in the atrium. Oh, okay. So Spider Man and Iron Man. Those are the two we're looking for right now, guys. And he said the rich one is like in an ATM. Are these an ATM? Oh, that would make sense because ATMs have money. That's what I'm saying, dude. ATM means Adam's tummy mommy. <laughs> I, I go to the ATM for money. Yeah, the ATM in the atrium. I go to Adam's mommy and ask for money. Yeah. For and allowance. Sometimes she says yes. Okay, where's the spidey spidey? It'd be hanging down. I'm looking up. 
I look up and I don't see any spideys. I will find it, Adam. Don't give me any hints, bro. All right, it's a scavenger hunt. I must find it, guys. That's what makes these games so fun. You have no idea where anything is. <gasps> There's a bridge now up there. That's kind of new. Where mm -hmm. is the spidey spidey? Itty bitty spider man. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Went into the pizza plex. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm gonna go up this bridge. Maybe this will take me to the spidey. Oh, good idea. Hello, spider huggy. Are you up here? <sighs> Where, hey yo, what's that, bro? Secret area? Uh, I don't know if you need to glitch out of the map for it. I'm just looking, Adam. I'm just using my camera to look. All right, you got it. Somewhere in the atrium is a Spidey Spidey. This is the Builder Man, Freddy. I already okay. got that one. And uh, I said Iron Man, they left their mask in here. So it's probably just sitting on a chair. Like uh, what? Like the like the foxy? What? Did you see something? Uh, I don't want to give you any hints. Don't give me any hints, Adam. All right, all right, all right. I all know right. you didn't see nothing. That's just a birthday hat right here. That's not important. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Wait, did we get, we already got the birthday party. Yeah, yeah we already got that yeah. one. We already got it. Okay. I'm looking, guys, I'm looking. <gasps> I'm, oh, I see Mario's hat. I don't see the Spidey Spidey, though. I'm going to go I'm gonna go to the ATM. Oh, good idea. No, there's nothing there, guys. I'm looking for the Spidey Spidey. Spidey into Betsy Spidey. Went to the Pizza Plex. Out came the Freddy. And then the Gregory ran. What's so? What? 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 <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Will you see Spider-Man? I think so, yeah. Where? I don't want to give you any hints. Dude, it said it'd be always oh, right there. Yeah. You got to get bitten by the Spidey. Ouchie, we got Spider-Man Freddy. It was hanging from a web. I'm going to turn into Spider-Man Freddy. It's going to be so lit. Dude, what if you can like climb on walls as the morph? Oh. That's so awesome. That's a cool morph. Yeah, if it let you climb on walls, that would be super lit. Now, I'm looking for Iron Man. Iron Man. Dude. Iron Man, dude. Where would they hide Iron Man? Yeah. Be super duper lit. Did the hint just say that it's an atrium or did it give anything else? I'm gonna find it, Adam. Alright, alright, alright. I think that's it, bro. No way. I think that's it. What really? is that? What is that, bro? That's new. <gasps> it's our oh no, that's Roxanne. Okay, yeah. I already got Roxanne. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back into Sun Roxanne. She runs the fastest. Good idea, good idea. It said he left his mask. Somewhere in the atrium, guys. So we gotta find it right now, dude. All right, you got it. Where would Iron Man leave his mask, bro? Well, Tony Stark probably would leave it. Uh, Tony Stark? I don't know. I'm checking all the tables, guys. I'm checking. Arr! All right, you got it. Maybe it's upstairs. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you got it, dude. Where's his mask? It's probably on a table somewhere, but I gotta find it. <gasps> Is that new? Um, that's new. You could try to like. That's new. That's an obby. Yeah, run over there. That's new. Hold on. That's new. That's new. All right, can Justin beat this obby? Yeah, this is new. Oh, I'm an idiot. so close. I'm an idiot. It's okay. You just gotta try and try again. So as his mom says to us when we uh, fail in sports. Right. We're not very good at sports. But I'm good at other things like finding these morphs. Oh, Roxanne can just kind of run there. What is this? Oh, whoa. Angel Freddy. I think we already got that one. What? We did? Yeah. Are you serious? That's still really cool, though. I don't think we ever played that obby before, though. Yeah, you're right. All right, Adam. Now, I'm looking for uh, Iron Man's mask. If any of you guys see it, let me know in the comments. All I'll, right. I'll read the comments. I'll find it. All right. We still got, I think, maybe like six or seven morphs to find. We this got a lot. Be super lit, guys. And we got the Justy Morph divide. Yeah, the Justin Morph. Okay, Adam, where is Iron Man, dude? Where is he? We gotta find him. I think it's on the ground floor. You think so? Yeah. You get an Iron Man sense about this? Yeah, I can just sense Tony Stark is somewhere on the first floor. Okay, guys, keep your eyes peeled like some bananas. Where I can't, would I can't Tony Stark there. be? Where would they put their mask? Okay, guys. Oh! No way! No way! It's Iron Man! We found it! We got Iron Man Freddy! Wow, that's awesome! <laughs> dude, this guy is gonna be so cool, dude. I'm gonna turn to Iron Man Freddy. Yeah! I'm gonna turn to Iron Man Freddy. Oh! That looks so cool! That is so lit, dude. They got the glowing core and everything. Alright, now let's see what else there is. Let's see who we should find next. We gotta find all of them, dude. This game is so much fun. I love it! Yeah. Okay, okay. zombie Freddy. Oh, this one. 
He's left his pot on grass. We gotta find a little pot on his head. Garden door. Tunnels are scary. Zombies might be somewhere around there. So the zombies are in the tunnels. Got it. Let rocket fly in airspace of dare care. Okay, so it's in, in the daycare. Daycare, tunnels, got it. I'm going back to daycare. In the airspace, what does that mean, bro? Let the rocket fly. So maybe there's like a rocket that we have to launch or something? I don't know, guys. This is getting pretty tricky. We're gonna figure it out, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry, Adam. You got it. You Don't got cry, it. Adam. I'm not gonna cry. Try not to cry. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's Foxy again. Hey, Foxy, you having fun? <laughs> Foxy's watching TV. <laughs> cool, okay. Wait, so there's a rocket ship somewhere in here. Oh. We gotta find it. I think that's what it said, right? It let his rocket fly or something? Yeah, something like that. I'm looking for the rocket, bro. I'm in the daycare. I don't see a rocket, though. Let me, let me read that hint again. All right. Let me read that hint again. What did it say? You oh. got it, you got it, you got it. What did it say? Let his rocket fly in the airspace of the daycare. That's what I thought it said. Hmm. Now we gotta find a rocket in here somewhere, I guess. It might be in the play place or it might be on the walls or something. It might be in here. Could be. I'm gonna revert back to normal Justy. Yeah, it's a little bit easier to jump around as the normal person. You see a rocket in here? No. I don't see a rocket in here. Not seeing it's it. It's gotta be in here. Hmm. It's gotta be in here. You think maybe that Freddy plushie knows? Dude, it might. <laughs> maybe Huggy Buggy knows. Okay. Where's, are you guys seeing a rocket in here, bro? I don't see no rocket. Hmm. <gasps> what? I think I might have just seen it, but I don't know. Where? It might be around the edge of the daycare. Like this? I don't want to give any more hints. What? You said to not give you too many hints, so. Where did you see it, bro? I think it might be around the edge of the daycare. I don't know if it's in the play place. I'm gonna turn into rock, sand, wolf, so I zoom, zoom. All right, you got it. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. Da! You got it, dude, you got it. Da! I, I don't see anything on the edge, bro. Just run around. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Do you see it? I think I saw it, but I'm not giving too many hints. Where'd you see it? I, well, you just passed it a bit before. Over here? Why didn't you say anything? Because you get Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> Where's the rocket? What are you talking about, bro? I'm, I, my head hurts. Bro. What? Whoa, what is this area? Is this new? Are you allowed to go out here? We got, yeah, we got Slender Freddy out here. Oh, wow, I don't remember that. That's a pretty cool part of the map, huh? Yeah. Now you're telling me you see a rocket around here? Guys, if you guys see the rocket, let me know. It's on the one floor lower. What, why'd you tell me to go around? There it is! You got it! We got Astronaut Freddy. Nice! Uh, one small step for Freddy. <laughs> one large step for Justy. <laughs> this is lit. Wow. Now I'm going to the tunnels. That's pretty lit, huh? Yeah, I like that Freddy a lot. Now I'm going back to the tunnels. All right, here we go. Go to the tunnels. Because that's where the zombie one is. It makes sense. It would be, see, I thought it was in the sewers, but it was in the tunnels. Super scary, guys. We're going to find it. Pretty scary, huh? All right, where would it be? Where would the zombie mommy be, bro? Hmm. I'm going to revert back to normal. I'm, I, 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 I'm going to find it. Maybe the zombie's hanging out with the mommy long legs because it's zombie mommy. Oh, that does rhyme. Zombie mommy. I got to check all the, all the potties, bro. <gasps> Zombie mommy potty. New what? <laughs> crazy. You're crazy. All right, I don't think that's it. Okay, I'm not going that way. Okay, I'm looking. I'm in the tunnels, guys. We're going to find it. It's going to be cool. Where is the zombie? Okay, where's the zombie? Okay, oh, okay. This is, wait, I teleported to the tunnels, so it's got to be around here. Could be absolutely anywhere. Recharge my flashlight. Okay, that's a dead end. It's got to be here, dude. We're on the right path. I can feel what it. What are we looking for? Like some brains? Probably a brain or like a zombie arm or something. Oh, this is the mommy long legs arm. Yep. Oh. Hmm. It's got to be in here, dude. Now, if you go over here, you guys can actually find a secret Freddy back here. Whoa. In the vents. I think it's how you get Montgomery Gator. Oh, that's cool. But we already got Monty Gator. Yeah, nice. Let me over this. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking for something, guys. I'm looking for something that reminds me of a zombie. I feel like it would be on the floor somewhere. A zombie. Somewhere in the tunnel, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm still in the tunnel. So what's this? Oh, I thought it was a secret passage. Hmm. It's not. Wait, does this take us back out of here? What? Nope, we're still in the tunnels. 
Nothing on the ground here. We've explored the whole tunnel, dude. There's nothing here, bro. This the sewers. We got it. We got to check one more time, dude. Keep your eyes peeled, Ed. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking. All right, here we go. Keep your eyes peeled. If you say anything, let me know. Where would it be? The flashlight doesn't work in the game, I don't think. Yeah. I wish it did. Yeah, that would be helpful. I don't want to miss it. But if I missed it, I would still walk past it. It would say, eee, to pick up Zombie Freddy. Right, exactly. So I don't think we missed it. I'm looking. That's what I'm saying, dude. Adam, you got to help me look, dude. Okay, I'm looking too, guys. Keep your eyes peeled like some bananas. <gasps> Get. Oh, that's in the other room. Try going in there, maybe? What's this, bro? Oh, that's this. Yeah. Get. Maybe it's here, in the rubble. <laughs> like rubble from Paw Patrol. Yeah, we love Paw Patrol. I love Paw Patrol. I am not allowed to watch it. Yeah, it's pretty intense. It's too intense for Adam. I'm looking, is it here? Is it here? Hmm. Some milk, some spoiled milk. <laughs> in the zombies. Okay, it's, dude, it's not here. <gasps> what is it, what? What is this? No, it's the potty. What, dude, are we getting scammed, bro? Uh-oh. We might get zombie hacked. Oh, no. Do you think it's in here? Did we miss I it? I don't think it's in the bathroom, no. Okay, uh, you think it's just on the ground somewhere in here? Yeah. <gasps> no. You okay, got it, dude. We will find it if it's the last thing we do. We believe in you, Justin. I believe in myself. Yeah. I have to, because nobody else does. <laughs> That's funny to you? No. No. <laughs> no. Where's the zombie? Urgh. Zombies plants versus zombies brains. Okay, brains. I'll give you a hint. It is near Mommy Longlegs' arm. You're looking up on YouTube? Near a red door. I see. I'm following the arm. All right. I'm following the arm. And then when we see a red door, we, we know we're getting close. Not quite there yet. The red door. So guys, if you're playing this game, follow Mommy Longlegs' arm. Dude, I knew, I knew. It. Okay, here's the red door. I knew it was the mommy zombie, bro. I knew it. And then keep going. I'm looking. Is Maybe. that is that the red door? No, it's a different red door, I think. So it's not the tunnels. It's like the top. Yeah. Damn ya. I should have known. Wow, they're tricky. I should have known. It was up here. Okay, I'm looking. Is it around here? There's no door here. There's no red door here. Keep going. Wow, I forgot how long the arm is. Oh, Mommy Longlegs got that long. There it is. Oh, we found it. Zombie Freddy. Wow, we got it. Zombie Freddy looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, yeah, with the chocolate chips in it. One of my favorites. Yeah. One of my favorites. <laughs> okay, where is it? Where's Zombie Freddy? Zombie Freddy. Oh, there's so many morphs. I always forget how many there are. Yeah. Zombie morphs, dude. I'm morphing to zombie Freddy. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what else we got left. I think it's just these two, and then, oh, we got the golden dwarf, dude. And rich Freddy. Oh, and rich Freddy. Yo! Whoa! He's drooling like Ed when he sees that man. <laughs> okay, okay. Now we're getting out of here. All right, you got it, dude. I, you can give me no hints for the Justy Morph, dude. No, no hints. No hints. I don't want no hints. You want to find the garden one or the rich Freddy? I'm going to find either one. All right, all right. I'm Sounds good. Whatever I want. Now, I know the rich one is next to an ATM. Right. So I just got to find the ATM. Sounds good. I know where the ATMs are. There's one right here. <gasps> I think you're on the right path. There are a lot of different ATMs in the game, guys, so it's only one specific one, I think. Yellow axolotls in there. Yeah, guys, you, we gotta check all the ATMs in the game. Yeah, it could be anywhere. It's gonna be super lit when we find it, huh? <gasps> it's right here. No way. Oh my goodness, I found it! It's Rich Freddy! It's Rich Freddy! Rich Freddy about to be super, super swagged out. Wow! Oh, see! Bling, bling! Sheesh. <laughs> That's crazy. <gasps> That's another one right there, bro. No way. No, I think it is, bro. Is that the Tussie Morph? I think so, bro. I That's think lit. So. I think it is. Oh, it is! Wow! wow. Let's go, dude. We're kind of zooming. That means there is literally only one left. Well, there's the garden one, and then there's you. Oh, the garden dwarf. Right, 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 right. Bro, I got to find the garden dwarf. Yeah. I think I'm stuck back here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Where did it say the garden dwarf was again? Don't, Adam. Don't ask. Okay, okay, okay. You'll find it. I gotta try out all the morphs, dude. This is gonna be so lit. Okay, yeah, uh, the, the garden one. Oh, that's lit. Wow, that's cool. All right, now let's find the garden dwarf, dude. 
left his pot on the grass. Now, where would there be grass, guys? I think there's grass in the atrium everywhere. See, like this grass. Yep, yep, yep. The museum, the sewers wouldn't have it. It's gotta be here, bro. All right, let's see if Justin's right. And then, after we find that, there's just one more skin to unlock. It's the Justin skin? It's the Justin skin, and I think you gotta find another Foxy to unlock the Justin skin. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Crazy. You said you wouldn't give hints. Oh, all right, well, that's not too bad. You're spoiling it! <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Adam, no more hints. All right, all right, all right, you I gotta got it. find me. <laughs> I gotta find me. You now, can do it. I'm looking for some grass. I know I can find it. I know there's little pieces of grass everywhere. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Mm. Okay, Roxy's gonna start at the top floor. No grass. Grass, grass, grass. I'm looking. That's, is this grass? Oh, oh, oh. No, I thought I saw something over here. It wasn't. I don't know. These are grass or like just plants. What's the difference? I don't know. What's the difference? Hmm. You don't think it's in the atrium? I don't know where it is. I'm gonna look somewhere else. Don't tell me, dude. All right, you got it. I don't think this is grass. I think we're getting put on a wild goose chase right here. Yeah, Freddy's trying to outsmart you, but guys, Justin is a genius. He will not be outsmarted. My brain is too large to fail. Now, I have not been to the museum yet. I'm gonna see if there's some grass in here. Ooh, that would be a good hiding spot. There's some grass in here, guys. Hmm. Oh, teleportation. There's some grass here. Yeah, that looks promising. This is not grass, dude. This is not grass. I'm teleporting out of here, man. Not the sewers. Not the atrium. Maybe there's grass here. Daycare pickup? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There's plants there. That's what I'm thinking, dude. We got to find a little golden, golden dwarf, Freddy. Two more skins, guys. All right, I'm not seeing grass here either, bro. I don't think it's here, honestly. <gasps> Oh, I thought I saw something. All right, it's not here, guys. Let me let me keep teleporting, dude. I'm moving on with my life. All right. Oh, maybe the lobby. Yeah. Back to the lobby. All right, maybe it's there. Back to the lobby in the Rory. <laughs> lobby in the Rory. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Roxy glitch. Roxy Wolf got yeeted. That's crazy. There's grass. Yeah, I think that's what counts as grass. This is grass, dude. Yep. Oh, I see something. No way. No way. No way. That's it. We got the golden door. Wow. I got a huge brain, dude. That's so cool. I got a huge brain, dude. Now, let, let's go try out the golden dwarf. Bro. Oh, we got. Wow. Oh, bro. Wow. That's pretty lit. Now, guys, you guys can see here. We got every single morph in the game. Okay, well, these you have to buy with the game pass, so we don't have those. Right. We have every single morph in the game, except one. One super duper rare one. The most thick skin in the entire game. We got the Justy Morph. Now guys, there are no hints to find the Justy Morph. Yeah, it just says that Justin's a YouTuber. Except the one that Adam Wait. <laughs> one of the YouTubers now. We gotta find a Foxy somewhere and I will take no hints. All right, you got it. I'm taking no hints. Where would they hide the Justin skin? I gotta find it. Now, they put Adam in daycare, which is pretty fitting. Because like I said, Adam did a little <laughs> Where would they put me? Let's see. It's so funny. It's so funny. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Explain. Where do you think they put you? I said in the pizza. All right, all right, That's, all right. I'm gonna go back to the pizza. <laughs> What's so funny, bro? <laughs> Nothing. Let's see if Justin's right. If it turns out they put me in the pod, <laughs> I'm gonna uninstall Roblox. <laughs> that's 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 a diss. <laughs> now there's no that chance. That would be so funny. Now, there's no Dude. chance they did that. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> no way. There's no way that I'm in the potty, dude. Unicorn Freddy. I'm gonna go check. Wait, where is there a bathroom in the game other than the <laughs> sewers next to Noob Freddy? If they put Justin in the bathroom in the sewers, that would be the funniest thing ever. They did it. <laughs> we already checked. <laughs> they did it. I'm going back to the atrium. Okay. No more messing with us, eh? <laughs> Let's see where we're at. 
guys, now check it out. The uh, atrium, maybe I'll be because of atrium. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll be in the atrium. <laughs> I got a lot of cool stuff here. Now, I, I, I'm hoping that game designers didn't put me somewhere goofy. Yeah, you're right. We'll have to see, guys. Roxy Raceway, Monty's Golf. I don't know, guys. Maybe they put me in a photo booth because I'm in front of a camera. See what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Well, oh. there was two other skins that we did not find yet. Okay, guys. Now, we're going to find the Justy skin, but I I'm thinking because we got to find every single skin. We found every single skin, guys. You can see this. That was a, a game pass. These two, you got to find them by finding all the little uh, charms around the map. We should get these two. Then, we can officially say... We have found every single skin in the entire game and we'll be 100% accurate. Yeah, so let's get those two and then we will find the Justin skin. Okay, let's do those two guys. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled like some bananas for the Justin skin. Now guys, for this one, this is real tricky guys. Check this out. Yeah. Check this out. Check this out. For the golden sun. Let me see what it says you have to do. You need to collect seven Moondrop mascots and the other one, the golden moon, to get them, you must own every daycare character. So I think once you get this one, you get this. Oh. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking, dude. So I'm thinking. So we gotta find all the little mascots. Now, they're hidden all over the map, and we've gotten most of them. We're probably missing like one. Like there's one right there. Yeah, but we already got that one. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm almost sure, but you can go check. I I'm just gonna go pick up all of them, guys. So either, either, even if we've gotten it, We'll show everyone the location of all seven. Now, we showed you guys one in the sewers, right? Right. Like earlier? Yeah. All right. All right. Now, there's that. We passed the Naruto Freddy. That one's cool. All right. There's one. Okay. There's one there. There's one in the sewers. Yep. You got to keep track, Adam. And there's one in the daycare pickup. Yep. Hold on. Now, hold on, Adam. You're, you're getting ahead of yourself. Okie dokie. You're getting ahead of yourself. Okay. We're going to go here. See if we can get the, the third one. All right. You fourth, got it. The fourth one. This yeah. is the fourth one. Yeah. Fourth one. Can we get it, dude? Can we get it? Can we get it? <gasps> this one right there. Yep, it's right behind the vending machine. We got it. Wow. And we got both. Whoa. Wow. Okay, wait, Adam. Just because I don't know if everyone knows where all we gotta show where all of them are, dude. Now there's one in the atrium we just showed you. There next to Naruto. There was one in the tunnels that we saw earlier. Yep. There was one here. This is the third one. Yep. Then the fourth one. There's one in the lobby. I'll show you guys. Okay, cool. This is what, four or five? I think five. Yeah. There's one in a photo booth. We found that one too before. Yeah, that was There's one a, right there, see? Another video. There's one right there. Right. And there's one in a photo booth. Then there's one more somewhere. Where would it be? I will look. Guys, wait, that's actually lit. Wait, we just got like some of the rarest morphs in the game, dude. Wow. Hold on now, hold on now, Adam. Sun drop, look. Okay, wait, 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 we already had that one, never mind. Where's Golden Sun Drop? Yeah, the Golden Statue. Okay, where's Golden Sun Drop? Okay, Moon Statue. Whoa! Whoa! That is so worth it, guys. It is definitely worth it to get this one. He's actually made of gold. That's so cool. Yep, and let me try Golden Sun Drop if I can find it. No way. Oh, Sun Statue. Oh! Whoa! Okay, these are worth it, guys. These are super worth it to get, guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely try to find all seven statues because it's pretty lit. Super lit. I'm thinking, Adam. I'm thinking. I'm thinking they put me in the pizza, dude. I, I, I really do believe they put me in the pizza. You think so? They know me so well, and they wouldn't put me in the bathroom. That's and, true, yeah. And did. And this me, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would not be cool. No chance, dude. Now I'm here in the pizza room, dude. I'm looking. I'm using the sink. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Guys, we're looking for the Justin skin. It will probably be a Lanky Box plushie that unlocks it. Where could it be? <gasps> no way. No way! Is that Foxy? They actually put me in the pizza? No way, bro. They put Foxy in the game. Is this, guys? Now look. Hey, look. We got him. Got him all. Got him all. Got them all, 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 got them all. All of them. Got them, 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 got them. We got every single skin in the game except one. Oh, wow. Except one. Wow. This is crazy. The Jesty one. Are you ready? I'm ready for the spaghetti. Here we go. Are you ready, Adam? I'm ready. Three, two, one. We got all the skins in the entire game, including both of us. I gotta see this, dude. Whoa! 
Oh, where's my pizza? Today we're doing the new Burst Pro Verse Hacker Challenge in Sort the Court. Whoa, Sort the Court, guys. We're gonna play a brand new game and we are going to unlock the secret ending in this game. Now it says, are you a king or a queen? Mm. We'll be kings. We'll be kings. I got my crown on. I got this at Burger King. So I'm a king. <laughs> I'm a king. Okay, Royal Advisor says, my lord, I'll help you rule your kingdom, but you have to make the tough choices. Just say yes or no. That's all we have to do is say yes or no? Yeah. Yes, exactly. So a bunch of people are going to approach you and you have to choose either yes or no. Dude, easy, man. So you already got the hang of it. Easy. I can do this. This is easy. Okay, cool. let's go. Space, okay? Our city's still very small right now, but it certainly has the potential to grow, okay? Perhaps one day we will have a bustling metropolis and you'll be invited to join the Council of Crowns, okay? For right now, all you need to do is concern yourself with keeping the citizens happy and growing our population. Okay, do your best. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, all right, we got it. Now, guys, we can also see right here, we have something here. We have, like, a number of people, 100 people, and how happy they are and how much money we have. Oh, okay. Okay, the gardener says, plants are interesting. Don't you think I would like to open a garden? May I have some workers? Yeah, totally. Open a garden. Let's go. So, wait, what? We just lost three people? Oh, no, we, like, assigned gardeners to go work with her. Oh, but maybe she'll come back later in the game and give us money. Money. Oh, dude. So we got to grow our city. This is an interesting game. Yeah. Uh, grandma, grandma says, e I was considering open up a soup shop. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So oh, I love she soup. needs some gold. Depends on what kind of soup. <laughs> <laughs> is it chocolate <laughs> noodle? Oh, I get it. So we paid her gold and that gave us people because the soup attracted people. Okay. This person says, I'm the Duke of Spook. And he's also named Lil Fang. Okay, do you want a spooky nickname? No, not really. Should we? No, I don't know. This is like the screen's getting all fuzzy. It like changed colors. It's kind of scary. I don't know about this. I think we should do it. Okay, Adam says yes. So I'm going to say yes. Okay. Oh, we can be the Creep King. That's not a good name. What you mean? <laughs> okay, but I guess that made him happy, okay? Okay, now it's a witch, and they say, I've got a friend from witch school looking to move to town. Can I get a couple gold? What if she, like, comes in and casts spells on people, though? Yeah, that's true. Maybe we should say no. Should we? But she got, it's her friend. We gotta say no to someone. Yeah, but it's her friend, dude. Maybe we'll say no later. Okay, let's, let's be nice. Okay, nice. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. So now, now we got more and more people. I remember at the beginning... Our advisor, oh, day one complete. Our advisor said, try to make the city grow. So that's good. That's really good. Oh, uh, okay. So we got to get the population to go way up. Yeah, guys, that's what the advisor said. So anytime people ask to bring friends, I'm going to try and say yes. Okay? Got it. They're saying, I'm a blacksmith and I'd like to set up shop here. I can pay my own way. I just need your permission. Yeah, sure. You can help make stuff. That's great. Yeah, because then people will come to our town. Yeah, wait, this game's easy. Wait, guys, I've only said yes to everybody, so... Uh-oh, uh wait, wait a minute. Says, you interested in making a deal? Your people's souls in exchange. No! Oh, no! wow. You try to get us to sell our people's souls for gold? No! Get lost! <laughs> get lost! Wait, so we didn't, gain, we didn't gain anything or lose anything. That was good. Got it. Okay, the Royal Advisor's back, so this is our friend. Builders wish to construct more houses in town. They request gold. Yeah, yeah, sure. Build some houses, of course. <gasps> oh, that was a lot of gold. Hey, yo. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't know it was that expensive. Well, I guess they're building houses, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I don't know what happens if you run out of gold, though. Uh, okay, this person says, hello, are you looking for experienced barbers? Sure. Yeah. Sure, I can use a haircut, yeah. Okay, cool, yeah, guys, that increased our population because I think they're, like, hiring barbers or something. Oh, I get it. Uh, I get it. <laughs> okay, okay, it's just me. It's just staring at me. What does it want? Should, I would say yes. It's a little eyeball. That's kind of cool. Hello. He gave us money. Wow. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That could have been real good or real bad. Hey, our population is going up. Happiness is going up. We're chilling, dude. We're absolutely chilling right now. Yeah, and remember, guys, we are going to show you the true ending in this video. Okay, it's Adam. Adam says, I'm little Adam. Nice to meet you. Would you like some ice cream? <laughs> Want some ice cream? <laughs> Which is just basically me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll take some ice cream. Nice. Nice. People are happy. <laughs> cool. All right, Adam, run along now. Run along. Okay, our advisor. A petition to bring the circus to town. Yeah, totally. That'll, that'll increase population, guys, because it'll attract tourists. See? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, dude. Let's go. 
Now, hey, let's go. That was huge. That was big. Let's go, dude. Why would anyone say no to that? It's the circus. Yeah, you're right. It's a chocolate. <laughs> I think you just, yeah, yeah. Should we leave it be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The chocolates. <laughs> he, he laid some gold. Wow, it left behind an egg. I'll see you later, Mr. Chocolate. I love chocolates. Okay, okay. I'd like to build a new granny. This could <laughs> help expand our population, but it'll cost a bit. Yeah, sure, sure. Hey, guys, it's all about expanding the population, dude. That's, that's what the advisor said. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. You got it, let's go. Hey, let's go, we're chilling, dude, we're chilling. Wait, so does the game end when you run out of money? I don't understand. Okay, the jester says, might I borrow some gold for new juggling balls? Sure. Sure. Oh, cool. Nice. They got happy. Yeah, wait. So, do you, like, lose when you run out of money? The circus is in town, bringing joy to everyone. It also happens to bring in a nice bit of gold. Let's go! Wow, day three complete. Hey, hey, let's go. People are happy the city's growing. Hey, now we're only on day three, but I would say, Adam, we're doing a pretty good job because everybody's happy and the population's going up and our money's going up, so we're lit. Yeah, but I was watching some YouTube videos and apparently later in the game, there's some real scary stuff. Okay, now there's a mouse. Should we chase it away? See, this is like a trick question. If you click yes, that means you chase it away. No, I'm gonna say no and leave it be. Mm. I'm a genius, bro. I'm a genius. Oh, <laughs> the happiness went up. They tried to trick me, dude. They tried to trick me. No, uh, no. The extra food we've been able to store in our gr granaries has attracted more settlers. Of course we should let them in. That's, that's gonna increase the population. Yeah, that was great. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Wow, you're a good king. Yep, because, uh, guys, I got this crown at Burger King. It was awesome. The butler <laughs> says, There is a man in the foyer asking to join your guard. He's got an eye patch. Looks a little shifty. Oh, now it's getting tricky. What do you think? Should we take a chance? Mm, what do you think, dude? Yeah, let's take a chance on him. You know, everybody deserves a chance. That's what I think. All right. <laughs> more, more uh, I don't even know what he said, but yeah. Oh, what? Hey, yo, okay. I would like some money, please. Sure, you can have <laughs> That's why I say to Adam's mom. I was, he took a hundred dollars. He took a hundred dollars. Stop it. Why did you give him money? I, I, I didn't know it'd be a hundred. I thought I'd give him like two dollars. Oh man, that was a lot. What is it? We got some slime? Okay, if you want to know the truth about everything, you're going to want to hire me. Yeah, I want to know the truth about everything. Sure. He's going to mm. go investigate something. What are you going to go investigate? He'll be back later. Okay. Dude, the circus is legit. It just brings us money and happiness every single day. Yeah, that was a great idea. We lost a lot of money, though, because of that one giant guy who took $100. <laughs> yeah, they tricked us somehow. <laughs> no, 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 Adam. We, we voluntarily gave him the money. It's the Duke of Spook. Lil Fang is back. Do you want a spooky nickname? What? I already got one. Yeah, we don't need another nickname. Wait, but it increased happiness when we got it last time, right? You could try it. Yes? Okay, yes. Nice. Okay. The Creep King again? Wait, I already saw you, dude. Go away. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little slime monster, Winston. Do you think you could tell people to stop calling me slime ball? It's hurting my feelings. Yes, I'll tell people to stop that. Yes. Yeah, no one call him slime ball, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, little guy. Working con working conditions for us are unsafe. Will you please spend gold to improve our ability? Yes. I don't want you to be unsafe. Ooh. We're running out of money, dude. Do we lose when we run out of money? Because we're getting dangerous and close to running out of money. I think you might lose if you run out of money, yeah. Okay, my name is this... As two very long words, and I've come to join your court. Will you have me? Yes, totally. Yes, I'm. I'm sure we'll have wonderful adventures. Yeah, that'd be cool. She got a lollipop. That was great. Nice. Uh oh, is this guy? Oh wait, care to flip a coin with us? Heads, I give you gold. Tails, I take a bunch of people. <gasps> oh, hey, hey! Now you're talking. Now you're you feeling talking. lucky, Justin? I might have to risk it for a biscuit. Well, we need I, gold. We really need gold. I, I feel really bad. What if he oofs like a hundred people? I think we got to go for it, dude. Please give us money. Please. No! no! <laughs> he scammed oh. us. He scammed us. There's no way you get gold from that. There's no way. We got it just straight up scammed right there. <laughs> Man, that was not cool. That was sad. We lost people and happiness. Oh, that was a bad day. That was a really bad day. Ouch. That was bad. We, hey, we're a bad king. We shouldn't have done that, dude. We shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Okay, Miriam says, what is this strange place I found myself in? Albert, do you know where we are? Is Albert the owl? I think so, yeah. Hello, you kingly person. I do believe I'm lost. May I stay? Yeah. Increase the population. Yep. Cool. Yep. 
Let's go. I'm sure I will see you again. Albert seems like you. I like Albert. He's chunky, dude. <laughs> okay, he's thick, like thick shark. Okay. Some very strange creatures wish to move into the houses we built. Should we allow it? It'll increase the population, but it might be bad. I'm just gonna, yeah, let's just do it. Take a chance. Yeah, all are welcome in our town. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying, dude. Okay, <gasps> this guy's back. My sales have brought in record profits and I'd like to give you something as a gift. Yes, please be money. Please, let's go. $40. See, now, this is a life lesson. We invested in them and they returned stuff to us. Wow, now we're glad we let him in the town. Hey, I, I'm still happy. I'm still kind of sad that we gave $100 to that one giant guy. If, if, that, if it wasn't for that guy, we'd have $200. Okay, we've completed work on the garden. Yes, I love the garden. Oh, okay, I thought I'd get money for that. Oh, uh, well, we got people. I hope, I hope, guys, I hope the big guy who took $100 gives us something late. Okay, yeah, that would be nice. This yeah. guy is just playing drums. It says, you like my rhythm? He said, bruh. So I gotta say yes. <laughs> bruh. Yes, let's go. Yo, he got an L on his chest, bro. <laughs> yeah, we don't take L's, guys. We don't take L's, bro. Wait, yeah, wait, do you lose if you run out of money, Adam? Like, is that what happens? <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> so don't run out of money. We are, we're, we're very close. Oh, you can see the city's growing. This game's cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, the cat pancake says meow. This cat seems slightly <laughs> magical. Not sure what it wants. Should I say yes or no? Say yes. Yeah, say yes. Guys, if you don't know what to do, you say yes. Okay, cool. That's good. That's very good. All right, plus one happiness. Let's go. Okay, our advisor's back. There's a very stinky kid running around in the streets. Oh, man, I ate him. Oh, man. <laughs> Should we force her to have a bath? Ah, uh, I sure guess. I guess. Yeah, because maybe she's so smelly that other people are being unhappy. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Okay, yes. Oh, okay, now she's unhappy. Uh oh, she won't be. Okay, why did we do that then? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> we were just supposed to let her run around, just super stinky. Okay, which says there's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll oof them for a few gold. Wait, but wouldn't that lower our population? Yeah, what? I would probably say no. But I want to say yes. All right, go for it. But that's gonna cost us money. Okay, I'm just gonna say yes. All right, YOLO. Okay, oh, no, that was good. Oh, the happiness went up because we got rid of the goblin. Okay, that was good, that was good. That was really good. Oh, who's this? Peanut. <laughs> okay, he's got a shiny coin. Yes. Okay. He gave us money. Wow, I love the monkey. Okay, that giant guy, guys, I'm still thinking about that giant guy. The giant guy we gave $100 to, I hope he comes back in like five days and gives us like a thousand gold. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, maybe that has something to do with the true ending that we're going to show everyone. Guys, we're going to unlock the secret ending. The royal advisor says the people have started a petition to ban pineapples. No, we love pineapples. Pineapples are okay. Are they gonna put them on pizza? Well, if you ban pineapples from your city, then SpongeBob can never live here. I, but I think if the people started the petition, they want it to happen. So if we do it, it might increase happiness. All right, it's your call, King. All right, yep, they're happy, but it costs money. Let's go, let's go. The witch has slain a goblin with a bounty on his head. We got 25 bucks. Wow, we just got free money. That was awesome. See, Adam didn't even want to do that. He wanted to say no, but I said yes. Yeah, you're right. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We're, our money's running low, though. I'm getting kind of worried. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Wait, so our rec our records of citizenship indicate 250. So I bet, I bet at like 500, we're going to get more money again. Oh, yeah, you're right. With a bigger city, we'll need to maintain an even higher happiness in order to keep people satisfied. Now it's getting tricky, guys. At first, she said, make the population grow. Now she's saying, make people happy. Oh, okay. Make sure you pay attention to the citizens and their issues to raise our happiness. Okay, guys. So now the goal is happiness. Got anyway, it. anyway, we still have lots of work to do. Let's make the city even bigger. Let's go. Oh, so we need to go bigger and be happy. Okay, I only have $200. <laughs> uh, calm down. By the way, remember earlier when I mentioned this Council of Crowns? Yeah. I've heard a rumor that one of their members has been searching the land for a new ruler. Uh, I'm so confused. It's too much reading, guys. This game's too... Oh, this guy. Hey, welcome back. Mm, nah. Nah, man, I can't sell our people for gold, man. Yeah, this guy scammed us last time. Yeah, this guy's a scammer. Go away, Georgie. Go away. Go I'll away. get you next time, buddy. No, you won't, dude. No, you won't. Okay, this guy's new. We've captured some foes on the battlefield. Shall we bring them home and put them to work? Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. that'll increase population. Yeah, and wow. it should increase money, right? Because they're doing work. Yeah, that was a good idea. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, lollipop person's back. I accidentally stayed up all night eating candies. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some gold to go to the doctor? Yes, sure. That'll increase happiness. Oh, no, it didn't. Ouch. What was the point of that? But if I had said no, she might have oofed. 
So that was the right thing to do. Yeah, you're right. This game is all about doing the right thing, guys. Always do the right thing. Citizens say a monkey has been running around flinging stuff at them. What are they flinging? I don't know. Should we put out a bounty? No, that's <laughs> our friend. That's our friend Peanut. Yeah, it's Peanut. What if they oof Peanut? Uh, so no bounty. No, don't oof my friend Peanut. Oh, people are unhappy though. <laughs> <laughs> but I like Peanut. He was nice. He gave us gold. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this game's hard. We gotta make the tough decisions, bro. What is this? I accidentally ate some folks. He ate people? Can I just pay you back with gold? What? Sure, we'll take free money. If I say no, it'll probably make people happier. He'll probably go to jail or something. All right, I just want gold though. I need money. That was so much money! Wow! Okay, hey, Chester, don't do that again. But if you do, come talk to me. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Yo, that was great! That was a lot of money. Okay, what is this, a <gasps> robot? It kind of looks like the Lanky Bot almost. Hello, I am serial number LD3. Point four C. I can't, can't read. Can you fix me? Yeah, sure. Spend some money to fix him. That was so expensive! Oh, man. <laughs> Ouch. This game doesn't make sense because you don't know how much stuff's gonna cost when you do it. Yeah, you're right. Hey, here, welcome back, little Adam. <laughs> can I have a coin? A gold coin? Yeah, sure, sure, Adam. You can have one coin. You, you get one coin. There you go. There you go. Thank ya. Run, run along, buy some milk. <laughs> okay, care to gaze into my crystal ball? Yeah, sure. I wanna look in the crystal ball. Oh, what? Oh, what? Ouch. Why would you do that, bro? That was real bad. What? Uh, 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 okay, this guy says, I'm back. I discovered a conspiracy <laughs> to cover up large amounts of gold. Wait. Hmm. Wait, do you... Wait, guys, if we get the right answer, we might get a bunch of, of gold. Yeah. I think we should say yes. Wait, wait, they say, I discovered this to cover up gold. Do you believe in them? Which one will give us the gold, Adam? Boxy says, yeah. Yeah, I definitely do. Let's go! Boom! 50 gold! Let's go! This guy's legit. This guy was the one... Yeah, we paid him earlier. He said he was gonna go research stuff. Wow, our money went way up. Yeah, but people's happiness just because of Little Fang or whatever his name is, the vampire. I've never <gasps> messing with that guy again. <gasps> Let's go. This is the guy we paid a hundred dollars to. I'm truly sorry. My circuits were quite fried. I offered my thanks. Yeah. How much money are you gonna give? Let's go. All right. So we got a hundred back. So he gave us all the money we gave him back. That was great. Wow. And the happiness went up. Yo, this guy go away. Wait, maybe it's like, a, maybe it's like a 50, 50. Okay, guys, I'm going to try clicking yes one more time. If it's bad again, I'm never talking to this guy ever again in my life. Deal? Okay. Okay. Deal? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, so with this guy and with the evil guy, the demon, it's a 50, I think it's like a 50-50 chance if it's good or bad. Yeah, I think you're right. Guys, we're going to show you every single character, and we're going to get to the end of this game. We're, we're going to the end. Oh, yeah. We're getting the secret ending. I, I want to see what the secret ending is. Maybe become like a super king. Okay, Skelly says, any mysteries? I can do some snooping for a small fee. Yes, sure. if it's if it's a hundred dollars, I'll be angry. But we have a lot of money. Yeah, ten bucks, that's fine. We have a lot of money right now. But our listen, our population. St remember, we got that big bonus at two hundred and fifty. Our population has like gone down since then. Right. Yeah. Hey, my sales have brought in record profits. Yeah, totally. Let's go. Let's go, dude. The blacksmith is like the best guy ever. Yeah, guys. But now you can see our money's going up, but our people and the happiness are going down. That's bad. Mm, Might I he get wants a to give us a tea. Yeah, sure. I'll take some tea. What? Yeah, sure. All right. That, that brought up happiness. Yeah, that was good. Okay, that's good. At least we're green. I, I just like seeing stuff being green. This is fine. It's zero. It's fine. Yeah. This game is interesting, guys. This game is really tricky. I feel like I'm using my brain. Hey, should, should we do it? <laughs> Are you feeling lucky? <laughs> yes, I am. Please, Lil Fang. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Woo! I got that rush. Let's go, Lil Fang. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, all right. The gardener's back. Some plants have, some plant people have sprouted. Are we allowed to make them scissors? Sure. sure. It's like plants versus zombies. They're probably nice. They'll probably help oof uh, bad guys. Wow, five to the population. That's good. I'm gonna try and get to 300 population. Oh, good idea. S sneaky girl, want me to steal? No, 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 don't steal. I have, we have tons of money right now. Yeah, don't steal, guys. No, no, because that would probably lower happiness and give us money. All right, so we didn't lose anything there. That was good, that was good. She probably would have gave us money, but people would have lost 
happiness and we don't need money right now we have lots right i figured out a mysterious new way to make gold want to know how yeah totally i'm not what? telling you he, he... <laughs> uh, what why would you say that skelly go away we what? got 50 bucks from it <laughs> yeah that was nice some nasty bugs have made a home out of the garden can we have some gold yes don't don't let them oof people cool yeah because we have plant people now so the bugs probably oof the people wow what? green 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 let's go that's what we like to see dude all green but that could have gone very badly if Little Fang. Uh oh. Speak of which. Oh boy. I don't. I don't think we should do it again, bro. I don't. I don't think so. We got. We got the good one twice, bro. I think we gotta ask Thick Shark. <laughs> I like pizza. <laughs> yes, you do, Thick Shark. I don't think we should do this again, dude. Because like. We already got no. We already got the good one twice. I would say no. Nah. I, nah. Nah. Yeah. I don't care. I, oh, guys, we're doing good right now. I don't want to risk it for no reason. Right. Oh, tonight this is new. I wish to embark on a treacherous quest. Yeah, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you for the kingdom. Okay, have fun. Don't get oofed, please. Bye-bye. Okay, don't get oofed. Okay, our advisor's back. Some families have moved into a new house we built. Should we send them a welcome basket? Yes, totally. That'll cost money, but it's fine. That was definitely worth it. That was awesome, dude. Let's go. Yeah, guys, see? You gotta be smart. I'm trying to be smart. We have money right now. What we need is people and happiness. Yeah. Do you find me... Humorous. What does that mean? I think he's saying humorous, like funny. What? Sure. He spelled it. He spelled it wrong. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Okay, nice. I like levels like that. It's easy. Oh, it's the L guy. I'm really getting into it. Are you? Yeah. I love I love the, the rhythm, bro. Oh, he's really happy. Let's go. All right, plus five. Yo, we're chilling, bro. We're chilling. We lost some money, but I don't care. We have lots right here. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. We're chilling, bro. All right, it's a wizard. I was just passing through and thought you might like some magic. Anything could happen. Care to give it... This is also a 50-50, I think, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Anything could happen. I don't know. What do you think, dude? Here's some some coin flips. I'm gonna go with yes. I mean, he looks legit. Please don't oof like. What if he oofs like a hundred people, bro? <laughs> no way. No way. Please, please. Stop! <laughs> he oofed ten people. You are awful. I guess the spell turned out to be evil. Go away, dude. Go away. Hey guys, I'm not gonna do these coin flips anymore. Cause I, why? Why risk it? <gasps> Wow, money, money, money. This guy came back with $250. That's a lot. This guy's legit. All right. All right, it's, it's Chester again. Can I eat some folks? I've got plenty of gold. No, we have so much gold right now. No, don't do it, Chester. <laughs> don't do it, bro. Dude, Thanks we need- for asking. <laughs> yeah, we need people and happiness. Dude, yeah, the blacksmith is lit. He just gives us money every time we see him. Yeah, he's so lit. This is awesome. We, we have like almost too much gold right now. Yeah, and the gold like piles up next to you. It looks really cool. Yo, go away, Lil Fang. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with anybody who's- Oh, I'm not gonna mess with anybody who can bring down these two. There's no point. Right. That was bad. That was bad. We made a lot of money, but we have money right now. That was bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, we need more people. Okay, that, that was not great. All right, here's the lollipop person. I've just finished moving in, but I would like to request an assistant. May I have one person? Yeah, sure. Wait, was she like, oof that person? What do you mean? I think she just took them so they could work together or something. Okay, hopefully she'll like make a candy factory and make us a bunch of money. It seems yeah. your court is without much cake. I can provide cake. I'm a cake chef. May I join you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we always need more cake. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. I love cake. Let's go. Okay, oh, oh it's this guy. What? What? No, a good, wholesome, friendly deal. All right, why is he wearing, like, a new shirt? <laughs> I think we gotta go for it, man. Why are you trying to mess up our game, dude? It dude. would cost you some gold. Okay, we do have a lot of gold, though. How about this? A few hundred gold. I'll make sure he sends it happy. Is he tricking us? Because a few hundred gold is a lot. Like, Yeah, but we need that happiness, man. Yeah, but what if he's scamming us, bro? I think we gotta say yes. Don't scam us, Georgie. I'm gonna say yes. Let's go. Please. Let's go! All right, that's a lot of gold, but it's a lot of happiness. 25 happiness, was that worth? That was 300 gold. <laughs> yeah, but our happiness is our lowest one. Hey, if Bob the Builder wants a sandwich... Surely the cost of sandwich is nothing. Yeah, sure, I'll give you a sandwich. Okay, nice. Okay, three gold for a sandwich. That's an expensive sandwich, though. Oh, boy. It's, it's eyeball. I think, uh, does it want something? Yeah, sure. What's up, buddy? He just took $100. <laughs> oh, man. No. <laughs> and just like that, our gold has got cut in half. Well, guys, see, this is a real, oh, my goodness. This is a real simulation of life, guys. You could, you could, you could be up, you could be down. We, like, last... 
last turn, like one day ago, we were like, oh, we have too much gold. Now we just lost half of it. Yeah, you're right. All right, I gotta stop being risky. No, go away, bro. Mm -hmm. Should I risk it though? I think you gotta do it. All right, risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. Stop! <laughs> they oof 10 more people all right guys hey hey guys I, I have to play safe for a while we're, we're losing everything right now this is bad yeah oh I'm, man i'm gonna play safe i'm gonna play safe okay yeah we're friends of course we're friends cool Aww. i'm gonna play safe guys i can't i can't afford to, to mess around anymore okay yeah. this person want me to steal no stop i don't want that yeah get him out of here i'll see you later okay <gasps> it's peanut hey peanut i saved your life bro i Ooh, saved your life he's got a shiny coin give us the coin stop throwing stuff at people peanut i'll see you later <laughs> he gave us more money than last time he gave us five dollars instead of three nice okay wait it's the cat again sure wow so the cat always gives you plus one happiness see guys i'm playing it safe the workers whoa 20 bucks yeah the workers i said they bring in money and they did they recruited they they built a bunch of stuff nice Guys, see, I'm playing it safe. I, I went, wait, okay, I only made a little bit, oh, wait. Oh, because I tried to do the wizard thing. Oh, we got plus 19, though. I'm not messing with any more coin flips, guys, I'm not. You've got a skeleton of your own, you know? Don't you find it weird that you can't see it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Don't think about it too, <laughs> I, I won't. Okay, what was the point of that, Skelly? Go away, bro. <laughs> oh, it's a, <laughs> you haven't been talking to Skelly, have you? Wait, mm. this is double negative. I don't know. You haven't been talking to Skelly. If I say yes, that's a lie. This guy is so cool looking. He looks like the ones I met on the spaceship. <laughs> during the tractor beam incident. Okay, Albert asked me to come here and tell a story with you. Oh, Albert the Owl. Okay, sure. A yellow bird meets a green bird in the sky. Does the yellow bird soar higher than the green? Dude, if I if I get it wrong, she's gonna take like a million dollars. Let's just say yes. But she's wearing green, so she might soar higher. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Maybe say no. It's up to you. I'm gonna say yes. I don't know. Please. Let's go! Cool! Let's go. That was a nice story, Miriam. I like that. Wow, high she's still the, going. High up in the sky, the yellow bird meets a blue bird. Does the yellow bird stop to sing with it? I think we should quit while we're ahead. Yes, it does sing. Let's go! Wow! Hey, let's go. Try me again. The singing attracts a flock of nearby birds of all shapes and colors. Hey, let's go. What a lovely ending. Hey, I like that story. Let's go. Let's go, Albert. Let's go. Wow, nice. Let's go, dude. That was nice. All right, the lollipop. The, yep, that's what I thought. The assistant and I have found a way to make extra gold by trading sweets. Yes, let's go. Nice. 150. Hey, let's go. We're back to being up. Hey, we're back. We're back in the green, dude. We're back in the green. All right, might I get a cup of tea for you? Yeah, totally. I'll take tea any day. Let's go. Cool, that was worth it. Dude, I think we're in the green uh, on everything. Let's go! Wow, feels good, man. Woo! Okay, nice. Everything's going so well, dude. This is awesome. Wow, who's next? Okay, it's a it's a cat named Boots. Can I have some food? Yeah, totally. Here you go, Boots. Oh, that was worth it. Meow. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to play everything very safe right now, guys. Okay? Mm. The advisor says some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them gold. Huh? No, we I should mean, probably pay them because then we don't want people to leave. Yeah, but why are they going to leave unless we pay them? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, I'll pay them, I guess. Oh, it's expensive. Yeah, but we don't want our population to go down. Yeah, guys, I think we're looking pretty good. I want to play everything really safe. Okay, Bob the Builder's back. Can I have a sandwich? Yeah, you can have another sandwich. Cool. Yeah, three happiness is definitely worth. That's definitely worth. Okay, the military general says one of our prisoners has escaped. May I have some gold to offer a reward? Yeah, sure. Oh, that was expensive too. $50. Oh, man, our money's going down. That's okay. The happiness went up. Oh, it's Little Fang again. I'm not, no, I'm not messing with you, dude. Go away. Go away. <laughs> Go away, dude. I'm not doing this. Not today, okay? All right, not bad. We lost some money, but that wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad. Let's go, let's go, let's go, okay? Dude, you can see everything building. The butler says the man you hired earlier has gone missing. Shall we send a search party? Sure. Hmm, yeah, I wonder where they went. Okay, uh, hopefully they'll find him and bring a bunch of money and stuff back. Yeah, good idea. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, no, I'm not messing with you again, dude. No, no, go away, dude, go away. Yeah, go he's away. oofed so many of our people. This guy oofed like 50 people. He tried to mess with us again, go away. Bob the Builder wants to build a tavern. It'll take a, a considerable amount of gold. A couple hundred. Yeah, yo, Bobby the Builder, who do you think I am? I think we gotta do it, dude. Yeah, it'll make people happy, and it'll probably bring in a lot of money later. 200 gold? Oh! Yeah, but 
I think it'll be worth it. Don't worry. All right, let's hope so, dude. Let's really hope so. All right, little Timmy. Okay, can my friends come over to play? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, imagine I said no. <laughs> All right, I click yes. I click yes. All right, yo, yo, little Timmy brought in three people. All right, Timmy. Lil Timmy's busted. Wait, that was so good. Three friends and three happiness is actually a lot. Yeah. Okay, my lord, a man wishes to settle a dispute. He says he is way cool, but his friend says he is not. Do you think he's cool? Yeah, he's cool. He lives in our kingdom. He's cool. All right. <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're nearing 200 happiness. That's pretty good. We lost a lot of money. That's okay. All right, day 18. Hey, we're getting there, guys. Let's go. All right, the witch the, the witch has been very nice. She's helped us a lot. There's a bunch of goblins. I'll slay them for gold. Yes, definitely do it. Nice. Okay. All right, happiness went way up. That was only 10 gold. That was so worth. Yeah, definitely. Because remember, we paid the evil demon guy. We paid him like 300 gold for 25 happiness. So that right. was really good. Can I have some food? Yes, of course you can. Boots, here you go. <laughs> Boots. <laughs> Boots. Yeah, Let's that go. was worth it too. Yep, that was a good deal. This guy is gonna... There's a party I'd like to go to this evening. May I have the rest of the day off? Yeah, sure. I don't need any more tea. <laughs> Dude, see, like, that's so worth... Three happiness for free? That's so worth it? Yeah, just to be nice. Yeah, we paid the other dude 300 for 25. Okay, hello, Sonny. Can I borrow a coin for the newspaper? Yeah, sure, Grandma, sure. Oh, nice. Hey, you're welcome. That's, that, like, that's totally worth it. It's one dollar. <gasps> what is that? Oh, no. A dragon says, boo, give me your gold or I'll eat your Dallas people. <laughs> uh, should we pay him? <laughs> yeah, we have to pay him. I don't want him to eat people. What do you mean? <gasps> ah! 400! Ah! <laughs> no! Wait, we just, we're, we have negative money. Oh, no, dude. Do we lose? Do we lose the game? Oh, this is bad. There's a party going on at the tavern, okay? Do we lose? This is so bad. Okay, the witch has become a hero because people are like talking about her. Wait, did we lose the game? No, we just have negative money. How does that even work? So, oh, we probably can't do anything that costs money. Oh, but this guy's gonna give us money. Let's go. Let's go! Woo! All right. You probably can't do anything if you run out of money and then the happiness in the population just goes down, down, down until you run out and then you lose. Ah, I get it. Okay, it says, Oh, this guy heard about it. I heard about the dragon attack uh, you were made to endure. I've come up with an idea to strike back. Okay, let's go. I can craft a blade powerful enough to slay the dragon and take all of his treasures. It won't be easy though. Yo, let's do it though. All right, I'll need to track down the finest metals, but they're quite costly. May I have a few hundred gold? Dude, I don't have a few hundred, bro, but we have to do it. Yeah, I think we should do it. But then we're gonna have no money. Yeah, but we gotta do it. Yeah, we gotta do it. Cause I think if we oof the dragon, we're gonna like get all of our money back. Yeah, and the blacksmith has given us so much money over the game. Yep, he says we'll do it. All right, I'll see you later, dude. Wait, but now I can't do anything. If people ask for like a sandwich, I can't do it. Looking for coin? I could cast some dark magic to summon some gold, but it might cost a soul or two. We need money. Uh, I think we gotta do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yo, 200 gold for two people. I mean, that's still really sad, but that's like not terrible as far as like resources. Yeah, I think that was worth it. All right, all right. Hey, the witch is really, really good. She is super powerful. Hey, it's Chester. <laughs> and we Yo, need everyone, cash. Everyone knows we need money. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I can hook you up if you let me eat a few folks. <laughs> we have to do it. <laughs> okay, Chester, go eat some people. Yeah! <laughs> he says, all right. <laughs> okay, we're back up. We're back up. Hey, we're chilling. We're chilling. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, meow. Looks like he wants something to pet, wants somebody to pet his belly. Sure. Yep, that's free happiness. That's awesome. Yeah, let's go. Always pet the cat. All right, let's go. Now we lost people in happiness, but we got money again. And the blacksmith is working on that trusty sword to oof the dragon. So that's good. All right, day twenty. Here we go. We're, we're playing smart, dude. We're playing smart. The sultan I've says, "I've got a business proposition for you and your tiny little town. Are you interested?" Yes. Yes, I, I definitely am. Aha! I'll bring you the details soon. All right. That was nothing. We didn't get anything, but he might come back with a cool plan. Let's oh, go. Oh, this is the woman from earlier. The plant people citizens have taken root and grown into a lovely field of flowers. Can you hear them rejoicing? Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. They turned the flowers. 15 happiness for free. Whoa, they're so happy to see the beautiful plants. Guys, we paid the demon guy 300 coins for 25 happiness. We just got 15 for doing nothing. Yeah, never make a deal with the devil. 
We just got 15 for being nice, guys. Hey, the eyeball is just here to make a bet. I'm not doing it. Oh, it seems happy. Yeah, it seems happy. Huh? Oh, okay. It just gave us two happiness for nothing. Squee! It's the same mouse from before. Is he offering me something? Okay, what is it, dude? Sure. Five gold? Sure, thank you. Aw, oh, he found a coin. <laughs> <laughs> is that Stuart Little? <laughs> oh, man, this person wants to steal again. No, dude, I, I don't think we need money right now. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're all right. All Taking right, the hey. high road. I'll see you around. Yeah, I'll see you later, dude. We're not doing this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's all go. All right, that was a good day. We're lit, dude. We're lit. We're, we're super lit right now. All right, here we go. Who's next? I've got news for you, sir. The city's population has reached 500. Hey. That's great. Hey, and we just got 150 gold for doing that. The townspeople are celebrating. There's a huge festival. Let's go. Our growing population will demand even more happiness now. Be sure to keep our approval high. Okay, so she's telling us to keep people happy. I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. Anyways, I just wanted to give my congratulations. Let's keep working hard, okay? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. I wonder just how big this city will grow under your rule, sir. Probably to a thousand. Yeah, we're gonna get to a thousand. Oh, the guy came back with a business plan. He says, a caravan of mine wishes to camp in your city for the next few days. Might that be arranged? Yeah, sure. It'll bring more people in. Let's go! Quite agreeable. We shall work together again, I hope. Hey, that's lit. He just brought in 10 people to our city. This is lit. Oh, man, this is going great. There's been a brawl at the tavern. Should we arrest those responsible for starting it? I mean, yeah, probably, right? They're gonna oof other people. Yeah, because they're not nice. I shall have them arrested at once. Nice. We got one happiness for free. That was great. Yeah, we're flying, dude. This game is cool. Would you like to buy some flowers from our garden? They're a special low price for you, sir. I mean, yeah, but aren't the people flowers? Are we buying the oofed people? Let's try it. No, no, I, I think we're just buying just gold for happiness, right? Yup. That was worth. So worth. Cool. Flowers are lovely. They are. They really are. That was lit. Okay. Oh boy, it's this guy. <laughs> There's a party I'd like to go to this evening, my liege. Might I have the rest of the day off? Yeah, go for it, man. We get free happiness. Let's go, dude. Thank you. We'll toast to your honor. See, guys, it's all just about being nice. If you're nice, you get free happiness and free money just for chilling. The festival in the town square is celebrating the town's 500th citizen. Okay, let's go. The Sultan's caravan is resting in town. Our citizens have been, our citizens have been trading with them, making some income. Let's go. How much? Hey, let's go all green. That's what I like to see, dude. Wow, 28 people. That's what I like to see. Let's go. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Have you seen my magical cat pancake? Wait, we actually have, right? Yeah, let's say yes. Don't mess with me, dude. Nice. Oh, good. I knew he was around here. Nice. <laughs> it's nice to see you, sir. Do you like my new haircut? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's pretty lit. That's Nice haircut. <laughs> seven happiness. Thank you. Thank you. We got seven <laughs> happiness for complimenting his hair. <laughs> what? what? Hey, yo, did he come back with the sword? My oh, sales no. have brought in record profits. Oh, he just wants to give us a gift. All right. Hey, let's go. Yeah, this guy's legit. This guy's awesome. Very good. Very good. The blacksmith is awesome. Hey, if you're playing this game and you don't help him out the first time he asks... You're in big trouble because we've got so much money and he's so nice to us. Yeah, do we want to buy some flowers? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, cool. Flowers are lovely. Hey, we're chilling. All of our numbers are huge right now. We're looking great. Oh, this is new. Hello, hello. I am, well, I am the scientist. I do science for you, king. You see, the city has grown and we have grown too. The science community, that is. Is that Elon Musk? <laughs> we now have our very own council of science, of which I am the leader. Okay, that's legit. Today, I simply wish to introduce myself. And now I have, I have. I will visit you again in the future regarding our projects. Science project. Okay, cool. cool. See ya. So he just, he just wanted to introduce himself. Let's go, dude. Hey, we're chilling. Hey, we're chilling, dude. We're chilling, bro. All green, dude. Let's go. All right. Day 23. Let's go, dude. We're doing awesome right now. All of our numbers are up right now. We're looking. Oh, it's Chester. Oh, yeah. You can pay us back with gold, Chester. I mean, wait, he said I accidentally ate some folks out front. Can I just pay you back? I mean, if I say no, he already ate them. So I have to say yes, right? Yeah, let's take the money. All right, let's go. But people are... Okay, hey, he already ate them. So, I, hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, grandma's back. Oh, dear. I read quite the troubling tale in the paper today. Think everything will be all right? Yeah, of course, Grandma. Everything will be all right. I hope you're right. Yeah, yeah, we're right. Chill out, Grandma. Don't worry so much. Yeah. Oh, oh it's a kitty cat. Meow. Looks like he wants somebody to pat his belly. Hey, free happiness. Let's go. Meow. Easy. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop. I'm reading hey, it. It's Winston. <laughs> it's Winston. Hey, uh, it's slime day. Got a present for me? Yeah, I'll give you some, I'll give you some money. Sure. Yeah, you're so nice. 
Yeah, I got you, buddy. I got you. Wow. All right, it's the night. <gasps> My lord, I wish to embark upon a treacherous quest. Dude, I think this might actually be a coin flip also. I think if, he, if you send him, he might get oofed. And he might not come back. But yeah. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes. I think it's a coin flip, guys. Yeah, let's go. For the kingdom, I shall record for you. Okay. There's a party going on. Hey, so at so I think based on certain things that we like invested in, like the tavern and like the guy with the caravan, we get stuff at the end of every day. Yup. See, we're getting something every time. Oh, I get it. This is awesome. This game is awesome. Nice. Wow, 40 people joined. We're chilling, dude. We're chilling. We're we're huge right now. That's lit. Oh man, this? this is new. Hello, hello, I'm Yarno of the Comfy Kingdom. <laughs> He's a ball of yarn. This is cool. You may not believe this, but I am the royal assistant of King Pin himself. Indeed, the very same. Oh, so, okay, another king. I've been noodling around this kingdom of yours, and I... Oh, wait, what's that over there? He's messing with us? What? What? <laughs> what? Hey, yo, what? Okay, button boy. <laughs> it's button boy. He says, good, sir. Did you happen to see a blue fellow come through here just now? Strange yeah. noodly limbs made of yarn? Yeah, we just saw him, dude. I knew he was around here. I'm going to go find that yarno. Okay. He's been running around claiming to be Kingpin's royal assistant, which, of course, he is not. Okay, you guys messing with us? In fact, it is I, Button Boy, who represents the comfy kingdom in the esteemed Council of Crowns. I don't believe either of you guys, all right? Have you heard of the Council of Crowns, good sir? Oh, I have definitely heard of that, bro. Definitely. Then surely you've thought about joining. Perhaps we could work out a bit of a deal. What is this? That Yarno has been giving me nothing but trouble. If you could somehow put a stop to his shenanigans, I might... Be able to get you a meeting with the Pia, the advisor of the Celestial Kingdom. If anyone would be able to induct your kingdom into the council, it would be her. What do you say? Will you help me catch that yarn? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very yeah. good. I'll leave the details up to your discretion. Once Yarno is out of the way, I'll set up a meeting with Pia. Yeah, Yarno was a troll. Yarno came in here and was like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what's that over there? And he just ran away. That guy's a troll. <laughs> catch him. Thank catch you guy. for your assistance in this matter, good sir. I'm sure we will meet again soon. All right, let's go. Wait, do you trust this guy or do you think Yarno's actually like good? Um, I trust him. The extra food we've been able to store in our granaries has attracted more settlers. Shall we let them in? Yeah, for sure. We got more more people. Let's go. Of course. We're chilling, dude. We're Very actually good. chilling. Oh, wow. And our town in the back looks so good. I know. Oh, the witch is back. <gasps> There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slay them for a few gold coins if you want. Dude, you don't even have to ask me anymore. Just go for it. You, you, she's so good. I'll show those creeps. Dude, <laughs> she's awesome. Oh, okay, new, this is new. My boat's too tiny to catch many fish. Can I have some gold to upgrade it? I'll pay you back, I swear. Yeah, I think this is going to be expensive. I think it's going to be like 100 gold, but it's worth. He says he'll pay us back. Yep, it was 100 gold. I knew it. Oh, you won't regret this. You'll see. I trust you. Hey, he swore he would give the money back, so I trust him. Oh, it's the candy. Okay, she says, proceeds from the candy trade have been rolling in steadily. Do you wish to collect your money? Sure. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. <gasps> 35 bucks. Let's go. Cool. Here's your share. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Yep. See, she's becoming a hero, dude. Let's go. Wow, this is lit. This game's lit. Hey, all green except for this, but that guy with the boat said he would pay us back, so I think I'm confident we'll get the money back. Yeah, for sure. We're chilling, dude. Oh, the blacksmith, the sword? No. My sales have brought in record profits. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the money. All right, it's another 40 bucks. Let's go. Yeah, this guy's awesome. Yeah, this hopefully game, the blacksmith uh, comes back about the dragon soon. This game really is, it's like real life, guys. If you make friends with people and are nice, they'll help help you out in the future. What is this? Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. Would you like a fresh cut, sir? Free of charge. <laughs> He's gonna make my hair look like this, sure. You always say I like your cut, G. Yeah, I like your cut, G. Let's go. <laughs> of course you do. You look dashing. Okay, we got three happiness for free. That was great. Cat's back. Oh, yep. it's the kitty cat. Yep, some food. Easy, easy, easy choice. Guys, these are easy choices. Just say yes, be nice. Let's go. Yeah. <gasps> oh, villagers are complaining about garbage in the street. Shall we hire workers to clean it up? Yeah, definitely. That's easy. The villagers' noses will thank you shortly. Okay, that was kind of expensive, but that, okay, it's worth. Yeah, let's see who's next. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, it's Lil Fang. Hello, friend. Care to daze to my magical vampire crystal? Nah, nah. I'm not, guys, there's no reason to take risks right now. We're doing so well. Oh, it's the plant people. They're hosting a party. Let's go. It makes people happy. Let's go. Wow. See, guys, this game's so cool. It's like a story because certain things, like, they keep growing over, like, many, many days. Yeah, we just gained 50 people. Guys, we're almost at 1,000 people. This guy came back. Let's go. I saw. 
a beautiful silver gauntlet in the blacksmith today. May I have funds to purchase it? Yeah, sure. It's probably gonna be another hundred. I could tell it's expensive. Oh, it's 50. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, my lord. I shall use it in the defense of our proud kingdom. Let's go, dude. That guy's legit. That guy brought us a lot of money, so I trust him. Kitty cat. Yeah, easy. 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 Free happiness. I like these turns because they I don't have to think too hard. Yeah, definitely. Hey, is Bob the Builder back for another sandwich? Sure. <laughs> I mean, this guy built us the tavern, and everyone loves the tavern, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, this guy's cool. Oh, he's back. Oh, he says, I have returned from my quest. A great bounty of treasures is ours, my lord. Let's go. This guy always comes back at 250 gold. This guy's legit. Nice. Good job. Yeah, that guy's awesome. All right, what does she say? There's a petition going around to open our borders to the neighboring town. What do you say? I mean, I think, yeah, because one, if people want to do it, it's going to make them happier. And two, it, if we let in other people, we're going to have a huge population. Yeah, I think yes, for sure. Let's go. <gasps> oh, that was huge. Whoa, that was great. Wait, that was actually like a huge turn. Let's go. Nice. Who's next? We're almost, guys, we're almost at 300 happiness. Look at A, look at A. Hey, let's go, dude. Let's go. Lanky Kingdom looking super lit right now, dude. Yeah, the Lanky Box Kingdom. Okay, here's the cat again. You want me to do my cat voice? Nah, I'm all right, dude. Oh, wait, he's talking about Yarno. Oh, Yarno? Is he talking about Yarno? Maybe this cat could help find Yarno. Hey, yo, go find Yarno for us. Huh? Well, I should hire this cat to find Yarno? Yeah, go find Yarno, dude. A hundred bucks to a cat. Yeah, wow. but hopefully if he finds Yarno, <laughs> then we get the secret ending. Okay, go find Yarno. Hey, I'm not messing with you, dude. No. Yeah, get him out of here. Go away, dude. You, you oofed like 50 people. Go away. Yeah. Cool people only here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I notice you speaking with that wizard again. Is he bothering you? I could have him banished from the city if you do not want to be pestered with his magic offering. What do you say? That's actually interesting, guys. I think if we banish him, we're going to lose one person. But what I think how this game works, guys, is just a theory. I think it's like a random chance you get each person. So I actually think it's good to banish him because I'm never going to take his chance again. So I'd rather have other opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I gotcha. I'm going to banish him. I, I'm sorry, dude, but he oofed 50 people. He deserves to be banished. Yeah, get him out of here. Yeah, get yeah, get him out of here, dude. We're gonna yeah, we lost one person. That's fine. That's totally fine. I'll inform the guards not to let him in the city. That's actually really good because, yeah, guys, I think there's a certain amount of people you can see every single day. So I, if I stop seeing him, that's good. Yeah, the haircutting guy says demands for my services is through the roof. May I have your permission to raise my prices? What, is that going to make people unhappy? Sure. Oh, okay, great. Wow, great. That guy's got lit hair, though. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay, this person's back. Nah, I'm not doing this again. Yeah, what? say no to the person trying to steal. I should have her banished, too, man. Although... Her, maybe, if I run out of money, I might take her up on her offer. Maybe. maybe, maybe. But we have like 700 bucks, so I think we're all right. If we really need money, we'll just go to Chester. Yeah, Chester's cool. <laughs> he just eats people. <laughs> what is this, dude? A wave of dark magical energy passed through the city during the night, causing spooky nightmares for many citizens. Are you serious? The wizard did that, dude. Oh, man. The wizard did that on his way out. That guy's a jerk, all right? That guy is awful. Yeah. That guy's awful. That guy, man... That guy, we he literally oofed 50 people and then cast a spell on his way out. What a jerk. Took an L there. I took an L. All right, this guy's here with another gift. Let's go. Easy 40. Let's go. All right, very good. Very good. We're looking super good, man. Oh, boy. Some nasty bugs have come made a home out of our garden. Can we have some gold to hire an exterminator? Yeah, easy. Yo, we're over 300 happiness. We're doing great. Thank you. Our plants are safe. <laughs> I'm just worried the dragon's going to come back because the blacksmith hasn't made the sword yet. Yeah, this guy wants a sandwich again. Yeah, I'm excited to see the dragon again. That'll be I cool. I don't want to get too arrogant. I don't want to. I, I don't want to say it feels too easy, but we're doing really good right now. Yeah, since we open our borders, travelers from all around are joining our city. Doesn't it just warm your heart? Yeah, it does. Aw, it's lovely to have so many new friends. We got new friends, dude. We're chilling. Let's go. Hey, Skelly. I like Skelly. Any mysteries afoot? I could do some snooping for a small fee if you're interested. Yeah, go for it. We got lots of money. Let's go. I'll uncover the truth and report back to you. You got it, Skelly. All right, we're almost on day 30. Oh, we are on day 30. Let's go, dude. All right, day 30. Nice, you what got What we it. got, dude? Oh, it's the fisherman. He's back, dude. My boat's all fixed up thanks to you. It's about time I started paying you back for your loan. Let's go. He gave us back the 100. Cool. Easy. Oh, who's this, bro? Is that Ghosty's dad? Hey, yo. No way. <laughs> Good day, sir. Do you require any haunting services? For a small price, I'll scare people. Wait, why would I want him to do that? Maybe he'll scare, like, bad people? This is gonna cost us money, and it'd probably make people unhappy. Yeah, but I don't know. It is a new character. Sure, I'll try it. No! Oh! He's 
says, why do you want to scare people away? You you offered it. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I guess we shouldn't have trusted the bad ghost. This guy's a jerk. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Some nasty bugs. Yes, definitely get rid of the bugs. Yes, we got it. Yeah, Ghosty, though, is a super nice ghost, Ghosty guys. super nice, and that is not Ghosty's dad. Hey, it's Chester. Oh, should we get gold? I mean, he already ate them. If I say no, will he, like, spit them back up? Mmm, <laughs> probably not. Nah, he already ate them. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We almost have a thousand gold. This is great. Yeah, Chester's funny. Oh, it's a new character. <laughs> Stumpy. Is that Sticky's daddy? Okay. Hello, King. I'm a tree of the western forest. As you can see, however... I have uh, short been shortened. Okay, he got cut down. That's not good. This is due largely, in fact, to the actions of your team of woodcutters. I'm sorry, my home has been chopped clean through. I didn't know. I didn't know we had woodcutters. Yeah, me either. In your reckless pursuit of expansion, you have now disrupted the lives of myself. Wait, this is really sad. And my tree folk brothers and sisters. I demand compensation by way of golden coin. Huh? Mm. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pay him. I feel bad. One thousand coins, you trolling! He wants a thousand coins just because he's upset. Bro, I thought we had a lot of money. See, I was like, oh, we have 900. Wait, this will put us in, in debt. I mean, we'll only be at negative 100, but what happens if I say no? He and his tree folk will probably attack us. Yeah, and maybe if we give him the money, then the trees will be nice to us the whole game. I think we should say yes. That's a thousand dollars, though. Hey, yo. All right, YOLO. Please, let's be nice to the trees. All right, the first step on the path to recovery. What do you mean I give you a thousand gold? And they said, I'm not finished. What? Stop it! <laughs> so yeah. they might come back later and want more money. Uh-oh. Okay, you've done the right thing here today. My good tree folk will respect that despite your woodcutter's aggression. All right, can't I just tell the woodcutter to chill? With this, I bid you good day. May your roots grow deep and strong. All right, thank you, Stumpy. Wow, that was stressful. Wow. Oh, that was bad, dude. Hey, it's all good. We had to make the tree folk happy. Yeah, now we really need Chester again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next person says, My lord, I've come across a chest of gold in my adventures. Will you please accept this gift? Yes, we need money. This guy's awesome. It's my pleasure to serve you. All right, we're not in debt anymore. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Chester! It's Chester! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. This is new. He says, how's it going? You and me. We really get along, don't we? I want to tell you a secret. I actually, I actually eat humans because of a curse a witch put on me. I'd stop if I could, but, you know, curses. Okay. You think you could help me break the curse? I don't want to eat people ever again. Okay, yeah. I'll help you, Chester. You're our buddy. Thanks, buddy. I knew you'd help me. Keep an eye out for any magical folks who might be able to break the curse. Maybe the witch can help. Yeah, maybe. Oh, man. What if what if we need the wizard? I already banished him. Oh, wait. Oh, Let's go. Oh, wow. You called it. Let's go. I I heard you were looking for someone magical to help with the situation regarding a treasure chest. Yeah, please help him. I could give you whatever mystic assistance you need. For a small price, of course. I got you. I'm gonna go in debt again, but it's worth, dude. It's worth. That was worth. Fantastic. A curse is it? I'm no stranger to those. I'll have your friends sort it out in no time. Alright, let's go, dude. No problem. No problem. So we let's might go. get to meet Chester as a human. Alright, should we sell off some of our construction supplies to get us out of debt? No, we're only $31 in debt. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think we're alright. Nah, I, we're alright, dude. Don't Worry. That's what I hope you'd say, but we still need money somehow. Hey, Mason, how about you chill out? I got this, bro. <laughs> my lord. Let's go! I've come across a chest of gold in my adventures. Will you please accept this gift? Yeah, dude. See, don't worry about the money, guys. We got it. We're chilling. Wow, a hundred dollars. That's still not enough to, like, last us a long time. We do need to make money, but man, those tree folk really took a thousand dollars off us, man. Yeah, what? you're right. Uh, some what? villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them gold. Should we listen to their demands? I guess yeah, we have to. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I agree. We should do everything we can to keep them here. This game's getting tricky. Hey, guys, this, this is a deep lesson, dude. The king got to make... He got a difficult job, dude. He got to make some tough choices. Yeah. A nearby town has asked us to form an alliance with them. Should we use them to beef up our ranks? Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, man. Whoa, 15 people. Sounds good yeah, to me. Good. More swords that, for us. Yeah, that was really good. We need money, though. We really need money right now. Oh, man. Oh! Wow, our population reached 1,000. So we got a, a 200 gold that was great be sure to mind our happiness rating the citizens expect the best of us okay i'm trying bro i'm trying my best yeah this is lit the what? owners of the tavern are making piles of gold and wish to share with you they're making piles of gold and only paid us 15 come on dude yeah <laughs> oh it's the drummer guy <laughs> want me to do a drum roll yeah dude do it let's go all right here we go 
Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man. That's lit. Let's go. It lit, dude. It lit. Yeah. It's super lit. Let's go. All green again, guys. See? Guys, hey, the lanky boys know what to do. When the going gets tough, just play safe and try to go all green, and then you can survive. Right. Oh, who's this? Oh, boy. Okay, this is Saturn. They're saying the boundary of your expanding city is beginning to conflict with the border of my nation. Uh-oh, I didn't know that. So, guys, when you get the population to a certain size, it starts to bug people like the tree folk or like this guy. Ah, okay. They say... More specifically, your workers have begun constructing a fence in my backyard. This is made even more affronting by the fact that my backyard is underwater. Why are they building a fence underwater? I demand that you stop construction of this fence and maintain your border at its current position. What should we do, man? This is actually interesting. I don't know. So either we say no and we keep building and then maybe he'll oof us or we say yes and we'd be nice. Well, Thick Shark lives underwater. Yeah, and Thick Shark is awesome. I like gummy candy! <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think we should leave this guy alone. Otherwise, he might come in with, like, mermaid people and oof us, just like the tree folk did. Right. Uh, let's probably be nice. Wait, so I demand that you cease construction. So if I say yes, that means I'll stop, right? Okay, sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some cleaning up to do around my property. All right, I'll see you later, dude. All right, that was good. We didn't lose anything. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's Lil Fang. Sure, I'll take a spooky nickname. That just makes him happy. Nice. You can be the creep king. Okay, it's always the same thing. All right, go away. Oh, man. Man. Citizens from far and wide come to visit my barber shop. Would you like a fresh cut? Oh, yeah, we're getting a haircut. Yeah, so guys, it must be random. It must be random what, what happens. All right, let's go. You ever see a treasure chest do a backflip? Should I say yes or no? Uh, probably no, because then he'll do it for us. But then he, man, what if he, what if it, what if he thinks it's like, no, don't do it? Yeah, we could say yes. Oh, really? Well, I don't right. believe you. No, I wanted to see the backflip. Oh, man. Oh, oh let's go. This Sir, is huge. About the dragon blade. Yes, that's what I'm calling the sword now. I purchased some top quality metals, but I'll need workers to help me do the crafting. Can you spare a few men? Yeah, go for it. We got a lot of people. Go for it. This will help speed things up. I shall return to you with a magnificent blade. Let's go. This is great. This is great news. Let's go. Day 33. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. We're still going. It's slow going, but we're playing it safe. Oh, man. The escaped prisoner has been recaptured thanks to the bounty you offered. Okay. Our citizens can rest easier knowing that she's been put away again. Let's go, dude. Easy. Some refugees have arrived in town. Should we welcome them? Yeah, nice. Nice. That was big. Very good. That was huge, actually. Wow. Our population is going way up. Oh, it's little Timmy, bro. <laughs> can I have a coin? My good <laughs> coin? <laughs> Mwah, thank ya. That's not what he said, dude. Why did he do that, bro? <laughs> That's not what he said. Oh, it's this guy. The Council of Science has had a most wonderful idea. Yes, yes. We have devised a way to broadcast music across the entire city using a network of sonic hardware. Sonic hardware? I'm not quite sure if this would be useful, but wouldn't it be a fun to try in the name of science? Yeah, he's gonna play music for everyone? That's cool. I'm certain we could do it on a budget as well. A mere hundred gold coins should suffice. I mean, I want to say yes, but that's like half our money. All right, sure, sure. We'll get started on it straight away. Soon the streets will be filled with song. Hopefully people like the music. What if people get angry? Oh, it's this guy again. Go away, dude. Yeah, get him out of here. Nah, go away, dude. Very well, very well. Man. All right, go. Nice. Whoa, fishermen report seeing schools of dancing mermaids in the water raising their spirits. Okay, I guess that's good. Yeah, let's go. All right. Okay, nice. We're doing pretty good, dude. Wow, let's see who's next. We do need more money, though. Okay, okay. Boots? Sure. You got it. Boots? It's a kitty cat. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who's next? Okay, the advisor's back. My lord, our city has grown so much that visitors are becoming lost quite easily. Uh-oh. Shall we devote more gold to the hiring of tour guides? I guess so. We don't have money, though. Oh, that was expensive. <laughs> ah, the tourists will thank you, I'm sure. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, the witch, did she cure Chester? Oh, no. There's a bunch of goblins in the lower quarter. I'll slam for a few gold coins. Yeah, I'll say yes, but we're running out of money, dude. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Uh-oh. Oh, this guy, please have money. Oh, no. Oh, he wants to embark on a quest. Yeah, you got it, dude. Yeah, please bring back a bunch of money. Please. Yeah, see you later. All right, let's go. Oh, can I trouble you for a sandwich? Okay, yeah. I think this turn we just lost a bunch of money, but that's okay. Uh, okay, our happiness went up though, so it was worth. That was a really quick day. Yeah, that was a really quick turn. Hey, this guy's back. Go away, dude. What? He says, huh, you call this a castle? 
Yeah, it is, yeah, it is a castle. Indeed it is. Trick question. This guy's a troll! <laughs> <laughs> Go away! <laughs> okay, hey, uh... Someone came by and cleaned up my home. You're gonna pay me back for that? Why I gotta pay you? Oh, cause he, he likes his house messy? I guess so. Alright, sure, I'll pay you. Okay, only 10 bucks. That's I it? guess this'll do. Why isn't he happy? I don't know. Man, I got scammed. Since we opened our borders, trade from our caravans has increased dramatically. Do you wish to tax the merchants? I think we will probably make money, but their happiness will go down. But that's okay. Yeah, their happiness went down. We got, okay, that, that was worth though, because we really need money right now. Yeah, we needed some money. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Oh, oh. the guards uh -huh. confiscated some gold that I uh found. Could I have it back? No, you can't have it back. No. Sneaky girl. You were keeping it, huh? But I stole, I mean, I found it. Yeah, you stole the gold, so I'm taking it back from you. Now it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little timid. Can I Yo, have a coin? I go away. Coin. No, go away, dude. Thank go away, you, Justin. Dude. All right, go away, dude. <laughs> Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Okay, so we're making money on this stuff. This is good. All right, nice. All right, hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Our numbers are back up. Wow, green, green. All right, this is getting tricky, guys. Hey, you can see it. It's growing in the back. Oh, boy. An angry pineapple trader has denounced your rule. Shall we have her arrested? I mean, I don't want to arrest her, but I remember we banned pineapples, so I guess we have to. Yeah, let's do it. We lose a person. That's fine. No one must stand against your king. Well, I don't know about that. Okay, money, let's go! <gasps> Whoa, I've returned from my quest. Wow, 250 coins. Yeah, this guy's awesome. I really hope he doesn't get oofed on one of his treacherous quests at some point. That'd be bad. Yeah, definitely. It's Skelly. Reporting in. I've solved the mystery about who stole Miss Pumpkin's baking pan. Want me to turn him in? Yeah, dude, <laughs> sure. Thank you, Skelly. Skelly's a genius. It's off to the dungeon for him. <laughs> Skelly's looking real dangerous. Let's go, dude. <laughs> nice, Skelly with the peanut butter and jelly. Hey, hey. <laughs> Wait, this is new. This is new. Oh, Lil Fang says, you feeling spooky today? Yes. Don't oof people, Lil Fang. What? Oh, let the oof flow. <laughs> let the oof flow? What do you mean, Lil Fang? <laughs> I'm going to banish you from the kingdom, dude. You are such a troll. He just oofed somebody. It's because we keep saying yes to him. The witch <sighs> says, my broom's all worn out, and it's my birthday. Okay, I'll get you a new one. Think you can buy me a new broom? Yeah, she's awesome. She's, she's oofed a lot of goblins. She's like... Helping cure Chester of the curse. She's awesome. Yeah, she's cool. All right, all right, let's go. Day 37. Hey, let's, let's go. It's all thanks to that night. He brought us so much money. That was really good. Yeah, we're going to get the secret ending, guys. Don't worry. Okay, wait. This is, is this the guy who went to go find Yarno? It says, oh, it's my bounty hunter. Did you get him? Did you find Yarno? Mm, no, we have not found Yarno yes! yet. <gasps> yes, he found him. Oh, you got me. That cat just <laughs> wouldn't leave me alone until I came back here. We got you, Yarno. Was it Button Boy who sent the cat? He's been trying to steal my position as advisor for years. Yo, who do we believe, him or Button Boy? I don't know. He claims to be the true advisor, but it's just a lie. He's only a button after all. I, Yarno the Blue, am the true advisor to the Comfy Kingdom. Except no substitute. I don't think so. Whoops, gotta run. Nah, you're a liar, Yarno. I'm a, I'm a catch you. I'm a catch you, Yarno. Here's Button Boy. Guard, seize that yarn. Well done, sir. I'm not sure how much of a part you actually played in this, but Yarno has been found. I'm in a generous mood, so I'll set up a meeting with advisor Pia of the Celestial Kingdom. That's big. She's quite busy, but you should expect her to come by sometime soon. Make sure this castle is nicely cleaned. You want to impress her. Hey, Button Boy, how about you don't tell me how to do my job? <laughs> All right? Go away, Button Boy. Button Boy and Yarno are both annoying, dude, but Yarno's worse. <laughs> yeah. The people are demanding that a notorious criminal be exiled from the city. His crimes include stealing and other bad stuff. What do you say? <laughs> Shall we exile him? Yeah, definitely. Get him out of here. I'll have the guards do so at once. Let's go. All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> we spent some money. Oh, uh, go away, dude. Hello, friend. No. Uh, let's say no. Go away, little Fang. I don't like you, dude. I don't like you, man. Yeah, go he's away. not lit, guys. He's not lit at all. Oh, it's Mason. As the city grows, we require more gold to continue expanding our city. Okay. An increase of our construction budget, say 500 gold, will 500. allow us to build a great number of records recreational facilities. What does that mean? Well, they're gonna build like gyms and stuff if we give them 500 gold. Yeah, we're not gonna be that much in debt and I feel like the stuff they build like the tavern, it keeps paying at the end of each day. So I think it's worth. Right. I'm gonna say yes, but now we're in debt. Oh no. Ouch. It's okay. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah. Oh 
no. Seems you need some gold. I could give you some in exchange for some souls. He said, he, he, I mean, normally I wouldn't do this, but we have a lot of people. Yeah, we need gold. All right, do it. YOLO. Ow, cheat. Oof, 20. We got 400 gold, though. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Okay, that was kind of worth. I feel bad about doing it, but we kind of had to. Yeah, day 38. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Our population is going like crazy. The happiness grows very slowly, though. Oh, man. Some villagers are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of gold. Should we listen to their demands? This is interesting because if we say no, we get to keep our money, but then they might leave. But that, that's kind of what we did with the evil guy was we just lost some people for gold. I'll pay. It's, it's not that expensive. It's like 50 bucks. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Okay. That's okay. It's probably worth it. Uh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Another chapter in the rebuilding of our people's <laughs> bonds has been penned this day. Do not ask me for another thousand, Stumpy. You will not get it. I will say no. Okay, oh, oh I, will, boy. I will say oh, no. boy. I've spoken with your mason on the topic of sustainable construction techniques. Okay. Though he was not at first wholly receptive to my ideas, in due time, I did convince him to see my way. Okay. I thank you for your cooperation, such as it has been in this matter. Yeah, the, we cooperated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. What was the point of that, Stumpy? Go away! <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the mason he was talking to. This guy probably does not like Stumpy. Hey, uh, a very talkative tree stump just came by to give me an earful. Okay. It was saying something about not cutting down so many trees, I think. Yeah, that's fair. What's the deal? Do I have to listen to that thing? This is tricky, guys. If I say yes, then Stumpy will be happy. If I say no, I bet Stumpy will come back and be very angry. Yeah, we probably should say yes. You gotta listen to Stumpy, bro. Yeah, we're taking orders from trees now. Well, that tree just scammed us out of $1,000, Mason. So yes we, yes, we are. Well, you're the boss. This will slow down our construction, but I can't say no to you, sir. Alright, cool. Legit. I mean, we already have such a big city. Like, let's just chill. <gasps> oh, would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? A well-protected city is a happy city. Yeah, let's do it. That was big. $20 for 10 happiness is huge. Nice. I'll have a shipment of swords sent out to your barracks. Nice. Worth. Worth. Yeah, always say yes to the blacksmith. Yeah. Some refugees have arrived in town. Shall we welcome them? Yep. Yep. That's just free people and happiness. Easy. Easy choice. Very good. I'm trying to get to 500 happiness. Oh, grandma's back. It's grainy. Those new speakers the builders are put in are too loud. I can't hear myself think when that music plays. That's what I was worried about. I said not everyone will like the music. Hey, Granny, just chill out, man. Yeah, I'm going to be circulating a petition to have them removed. Those scientists have gone too far. No, Granny, stop, bro. No, Granny. <laughs> granny, just be chill. Oh, man, I knew it, guys. But this is real life. When you get, like, too many people, right, people are going to disagree and get angry and stuff, right? Because when yeah. we have, like, a small village, now, now we have, like, a science committee. They wanted to make music, and now some people don't like it. Right. The butler said, Sire, I heard we're expecting an esteemed visitor from the Celestial Kingdom. Shall we go about summoning the servants to prepare the castle for our guests? Yeah, that'll cost some money, probably, or something. Of course, it's imperative. Yes, Pia is going to be coming soon. Oh. oh! Oh, good day, kingly person, friend of mine. Albert wished for me to stop by and say hello. Albert's legit. I like Albert. Yeah, so, hello. Thank you for letting us stay in your wonderful city. Of course. You're welcome, Miriam. That was nice. Wait, everyone's just... I'm not making any money or anything. They're all just saying hello. That's fine. Yeah. Would you like to buy some flowers from our garden? Yes, easy. Of yes, course. easy choice. Easy, easy choice. Yeah, always get flowers. Oh, no, not the eyeball. It seems oh. sad. All right, it just came and took two happiness and left. Great. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Hum, yes, hello. One of your fishermen has been bothering me. I demand a villager as a sacrifice. Yes. I mean, one villager, I guess. Yeah, it's just one person. I mean... Okay, we're gonna oof a person to this octopus. It's probably not gonna give us anything. I'll yeah, let it I knew slide it. then this time. I knew it. I knew it. He didn't do anything. But if we had said no, he'd probably come and oof us. So it's probably worth. Yeah, you're right. And we just got 50 people at the end of that turn. So that was worth. That's huge. Can I, Can have, I have some, some food? food? Yeah, you got it, Boots. I'll see you later, Boots. Aww. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, this guy again. Oh, it's evil ghost. Do you require some haunting? No, we don't want haunting. No, go away, dude. Go away. Go away. Okay, our advisor. Our granary stock has been infected. It'll cost us to replace it. But if we don't, people could get sick. Should we do it? Yeah, it's probably 100. Oh, okay, 70. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but we had to do it. Gotta keep people healthy. We're low on money, dude. Oh, this guy wants a sandwich. Yeah, I'll give you a sandwich, Mason. Okay. Cool. Bye-bye, Mason. Oh, oh it's no. little thing. <laughs> 
Sure, I'll take a nickname. He's gonna call me the King of Creep again. All right, <laughs> sick. <laughs> the Creep King. Go away, dude. I need help. Oh, I need people who can help us. They all just took money. <laughs> I gave us a spooky nickname. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Citizens from far and wide come to visit. Yeah, we want a fresh haircut. Easy, dude. Easy choice. Easy choice. Free happiness. Nice. All oh, people are threatening to leave unless we pay them a sum of gold. Should we listen I'm to not their gonna demands? Pay no, I'm not gonna pay them because I can afford to lose people. We have no money though. Right. All right, they're just gonna leave. Six people, whatever. We'll let them go then. It's only six people, whatever. Yeah, not too oh, bad. Oh, oh, who's this? Hello, I'm from the neighboring Ocean Kingdom. What a lovely castle you have, although it's quite dry. She's, her name's Mercury. She's probably the wife of Saturn, who's the other guy who's like, you're building a fence in my house. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to the Ocean Kingdom? No, we haven't. I want to go see it. Oh, I see. Not much of a swimmer, are you? I can't fault you for that. Should I have said yes? Oh, come on, bro. Oh, I've got a business proposition for you and your tiny little town. Are you interested? Why do you call it a tiny little town? There's a thousand people in here. Yeah, I would say yes. I'm interested. I'll bring you the details soon. Yeah, this is the guy who brought in the caravan. He's good. The spirits are appeased right now, but perhaps we should grant them an offering of gold. I know the spirits world always appreciates gold, and it might prevent them from haunting us in the future. What do you say? 200 gold would make a decent uh, offering. I mean, we're kind of in debt, but she's been so helpful, I gotta say yes. Yeah, probably. I'll conduct uh, the ceremony. Cool. Uh, yeah, that okay, one that hurt, dude. That, okay, but we got a bunch of people. So we got a bunch of people. I'm not gonna try and oof the- Oh, wait, it's a new person. Whoa. Oh, advisor Pia! It's Pia! Greetings, I am Pia, advisor to King Andromedus of the Celestial Kingdom. Okay. What a beautiful castle you have here. Everything is spotless. It's because we cleaned it. I was just wandering through your city and was quite impressed with your citizens. That's great! The Council of Crowns is searching for a fifth member. Me, me, is me, Is that me. something you might be interested in? Yeah, let's go, dude. I thought as much. I'll inform King Andromedus. I'm sure he would be happy to meet you and discuss the details. Let's go, dude. Wow, that might be part of the secret ending, guys. Hey, I was worried because she didn't realize that we were actually broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my, was that woman from the Celestial Kingdom? This is so exciting. The Celestial King sits at the head of the Council of Crowns. Any connection with them will surely do as well in the future. That's awesome. All right, that's sick. Without any gold, we're a bit stuck. We could sell off some of our goods, but that might make people sad. Should we do it? Yeah, yeah, do it. Whoa, okay. that was worth it. Well, 15 happiness is a lot, but that's okay. Yeah, what? we needed gold though. Yeah, yeah, but that, that wasn't great. Oh, please bring us some, nice! Whoa, more profits have been made. I like that. He just came and dropped off 15 coins. Oh, this guy with the speakers. What's this I hear about a petition to remove the speakers? I say, I say. It's quite upsetting. Okay, well, it's just music, dude. Chill out. Have you heard about this? I have no idea people were so upset. What do you think? Do you support the petition? Should we remove the speakers? This is tricky, dude. I mean, the only person who's complaining about speakers is grandma. Right, and she, like, um, she doesn't really do much damage to us or, like, lose much if we make her angry, so I would say, nah. What if she comes and just oofs us, dude? You're gonna regret it. Nah, we're not gonna get grainy oofed. Alright. You're right. The citizens just don't appreciate the brilliance of this project. Surely in time, they will come to enjoy it. I think we made the wrong choice, dude. I think we're gonna get oofed by Granny. That was a bad choice. Oh, okay. Oh, man. The prison is in need of repairs. Might there be a room in the budget to devote a few hundred gold to it? I don't have a few hundred gold, man. Yeah, what? we'll just let the prisoners out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Hopefully oh, the guards man. are able to make do. We're, we're like going way down on the happiness. Guys, this game's getting very hard. It started out easy, now it's getting very hard. Yeah, this is tricky. Okay, let's just, oh, hey, it's Peanut now. <laughs> Peanut, let's go, free money. He's got a shiny coin. Let's go, that's what I like to see, dude. Let's go. I like Peanut's earrings. Yeah, dude. Our search party has turned up the missing man, Sire, and nine of his new friends. So we got 10 population? What was the point of that? Okay, cool. Oh, it's a little Timmy, dude. Can I have yeah. a coin? All right, sure. Have a coin, dude. Whatever. All right, cool. Yeah, that was worth. Because three happiness for one. That's so worth. Yeah, Timmy's lit. Man, go away, dude. Go away. Yeah. I don't want to look in the crystal ball, man. <laughs> yeah, we don't like Lil Fang. <laughs> it's a chocolate. It's running wild. Should we try to capture it? I will catch a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did it just oop somebody? <laughs> I think so. Music rings out in the night. 
causing a few particularly energetic citizens to start an impromptu dance party in the streets. See, it made people happy. Let's go. Wow. All right, we're all in the green again. I'm trying to play very safe, guys. We got 42. The population is kind of going out of control, though. Yeah, you're right. We need our happiness to be over 400, and we need more money. We, we really need these two. You've been drinking quite a bit of tea, sir. Might I upgrade you to other stuff? Sure. Like what? The first cup is on me. Maybe it's like coffee or something. Maybe it's like Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah, Kool-Aid. Maybe it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, I'm not allowed to have Mountain Dew. It gets me too hyper. Oh, this is new. The Jester says, ooh, I wish to put on a show. May I have funds to do so? I'm gonna say yes because he's a new character, but we really don't have the money for a show. Yeah. Oh, very good. Okay, he didn't even increase happiness. What was that, bro? There's a bunch of goblins. Yeah, let's pay her to slay him. She's always worth only 10. Yeah, that's such a good deal. Sweet. Okay, the Jester just scammed us. Cause I thought, oh, no. Oh, no. The soup shop's been doing well. I came to offer you some of our earnings. Oh, Grandma is nice. She's giving us money. Wow, thanks, Granny. Okay, now I feel bad for not getting rid of the speakers. Nah, she'll be all right. Could I trouble nice you for a sandwich? Sure. Yeah, you can have a sandwich. Yeah, that's so worth, guys. That's such a good deal on happiness. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's go. All the nice. plant people are hosting a garden tonight. Wow. Easy, nice. And this also, yep. Always have her slay goblins, guys. It's free happiness. Yeah. Because she becomes like a folk legend. Day 45. Our population is booming, guys. Like it actually is. Oh, it's Chester. Chester says, my friend, the curse has been lifted. I'm not hungry for humans anymore. This is great. That's awesome, Chester. I feel so free. Maybe I can find something better to do with my money now, like charity work or something. That's awesome. It's a whole new Chester from now on, buddy. Thank you so much. See you, Chester. That was awesome. I feel great. Bye, Chester. And we're over 400 happiness. A petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists. Are you interested? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Yeah, but what if it attracts Pennywise? That was big. No! Uh-oh. No, dude. Not Pennywise, dude. Okay, we really need money. Because I could tell either the tree folk or the mermaids or somebody's going to come back and be like, I need 2000 Like, we really need money. Yeah, it's probably going to be Stumpy. Dude, why did Stumpy do that, man? He took a 1000 gold from us, man. I'm still not over that. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Whoa, money okay. from the blacksmith. Okay, okay, that's fine. I might need to YOLO if the, the demon comes back. I need some money. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, because, I mean, 15 gold, I mean, that's not nothing, but it's not, like, we need, like, hundreds of gold somehow. Right, it's tricky. Nice, all green. That's what I like to see. Yeah, day 46. We're doing very good, guys. We're doing very good, everybody. Now, we are going to get that secret ending. That's why I'm so committed to getting gold, because I don't want to lose, man. Yeah, another cup of tea. I've got more of that good stuff, you like? Sure, uh, sure. Oh, that costs a lot of money. Whoa, it's like special tea. Okay, but that's fine. There's three happiness. Oh, this guy's back. Hello, hello. The Council of Science has developed a new potion in need of testing. May we have permission to conduct a test with a willing participant? Okay, that's gonna cost some money, probably. Very good. I'll report back to you with the news of the potion's effect. Uh, I'm worried that was a coin flip and it might create like a monster or it might be really good. Yeah, it's one or the either. Some refugees have arrived in town. Yeah, let's welcome them. Okay, that's awesome. Cool, very good. Everything's going up except our money. Yeah, I'll buy flowers. Yeah, Th guys, these are always a good deal because we've seen them before. Seven happiness for $5 is like such a good trade. Yeah, happiness is hard to get in this game. Happiness is hard to get in life, Adam. You can't buy it. Oh, the potion we were testing seems to have the ability to turn people purple. Is that good or bad, dude? Oh, no. I'm not sure how this could be of use, but it is certainly <laughs> entertaining to look at. I have a potion that turns my hair purple. It's called Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's how I dye my hair. Yeah, grape Kool-Aid. Yep, see, guys? Certain things like the circus or whatever, they'll pay you at the end of every night. Right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Citizens in the lower quarter are, un are unable to sleep due to the loudness of the music being broadcast across the city. So, okay, so so the music is like 50-50. Sometimes it makes people happy, sometimes it doesn't. Right. This game is really complicated, guys. Really difficult choices. Wow, but you can see in the back the city is being built. Oh, Pia's back. Advisor Pia says, make way, make way for King Andromedus, Lord of the Celestial Kingdom. No way, dude. It's King Andromedus. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. This is crazy, bro. Oh. No way. He says, you don't always need to make such a fuss about my entrances, Pia. Anyways, yes. Hello, good king. I've heard much about you and your people. We in the council are quite impressed with you and would love to induct you. There's just one small issue. What's the issue? All four of the existing council members must be present to induct a new member, but I'm afraid Queen Chanterelle and Queen Sarath are having a bit of a fight at the moment. Okay. 
We'll need to calm them down and settle their dispute before you can join the council. Okay. You should be hearing from their advisors shortly. I'm entrusting you with the task of reconciling the two queens. Okay guys, this is gonna be tricky. So the two queens who are fighting are gonna send people to our kingdom and we're gonna have to try and make them happy if we wanna be jo like join the council. Wow. wow, best of luck to you. And afterwards, that seat on the council shall be yours. That's the secret true ending, dude. Oh, bro, we gotta get the secret ending, man. I'll keep an eye out for the advisors from the Ocean Kingdom and Plant Kingdom, sir. Dude, it's the Ocean Kingdom and the Plant, it's Stumpy. Oh, wow. So it's a good thing we paid them and we stopped building the fence in this guy's house, dude. Yeah, or we might not have gotten the secret ending. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm sure we can settle whatever it is that's troubling their queen. Wow, guys, see, always be nice to people because you never know uh, what's gonna happen. The spirits are appeased right now, but perhaps we should grant them an offering of gold. Didn't we just do this? I know the spirit world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 200 gold. I'm gonna say yes only because she's so good and has helped us, but I don't, that was really expensive. I don't know what the point of that was. Yeah. Oh, it's the scientist. Another oh, potion. Another potion. Yeah, we could try it. All right, let's try it, dude. Please don't make it be bad. Please. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Oh, this guy again. Come on. You call this a castle? Indeed it is. Trick question. <laughs> go away, dude. Go away. All right, we're doing pretty good, dude. We need money, though. An offer for you, friend. I would purchase a shipment of luxury goods for you for a fair price. We're going to make money. That's good. That's good. Wow, that was great. Why did that lower people's happiness? That doesn't make sense. Because they bought stuff from the city, so we don't have it anymore. Okay, but still, that was 300 gold. That was huge. That was definitely worth it. That was great, guys. That was great. Okay, we, what we really need is... Oh, oh, please bring back $250. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, go on your quest, dude. There he goes. Who's next? Oh, <laughs> it's Lil Fang. Go away! Bye-bye. You're not helping, dude. You're not helping. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Mercury. May I have some gold to make an offering at the Ocean Shrine? Yeah, you got it. Oh, that was expensive. Thank you. The ocean spirits will surely be pleased. I'm being nice because she's from the ocean village. She might, this might help us with the quest of joining this committee. Definitely. Wow. Oh, it's the blacksmith. Would you like to purchase any swords for your guards? A well-protected city is a happy city. Sure. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm still waiting to hear from him about the dragon. I know he needs to hurry up. Yo, how Lil Fang came back twice in one day. Yeah. Go away, dude. Go, Lil, he calling us a baby bat? Wow. Go away, Lil Fang. <laughs> I wish I could ban him, dude, because he wasted two turns on this turn, dude. Yeah, that's not lit. Okay, it's the magical cat. Oh, does this mean we're friends now? Wait, but I banished his owner. His owner was the wizard. Oh, right, yeah. So Pancake hung around even though his owner left. Oh, this guy's back. Name is Mulder. If you want to know the truth about everything, you're going to want to hire me. I want to know the truth about everything, yeah. I'm going to go investigate something. All right, see you later, Mulder. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, one belly pass again. Is this really like the job of the king is just half the day spent petting cats? I mean, that sounds like a fun job. True. As our city continues to expand, I'd like to embark on a project that's a bit more ambitious. For a daily allowance of 100 gold, my workers what? can begin the grueling task of remodeling our town's central plaza. 100 gold per day? You want to do it? You? Uh, he, how is he going to pay that back? He'd have to pay us back like 200 gold a day. Right. This will surely elevate our city to new heights, though it might take several days to complete. What do you think? Oh, I get it. So he's going to take 100 gold every day for several days. And then at the end, if we can survive, he'll probably like give us like a thousand gold. Yeah, let's do it. Oh boy. Okay. All right, we're beginning work on that soon. Okay, so now I really need to make money for the next few days. The owners of the tavern are sharing their money with us. We really need to focus on making money now. He just took 100 gold. Oh no. Oh boy. We're at day 50, guys. Let's, guys, let's I think we're getting... Here. Nice, guys. Now, we're getting pretty close right here to the secret ending. Now, we do need to focus on making money, though, because we're going to lose $100 every single day. Right. We really need money. So, I might... Oh, wait. This guy just gave us money. We seem to have invented a potion that magically styles the drinker's hair. We'll sell the formula for a good price. That's awesome. I hope it doesn't make the, the barber angry. Yeah, you're right. It's Stuart Little. <laughs> Squee. Wow. <laughs> Is he offering something? Yeah, I'll take it. Whoa! Five coins! Everybody's just giving us money. They must know that we're in trouble financially. <laughs> That's lit! <laughs> Except this guy! Get him out of here! You're the worst! Go away! <laughs>
<laughs> this guy's actually the worst. Oh no, it's this guy again. Hmm, you, those fishermen are at it again. Give me a sacrifice or I'll do something bad. Do we believe him? He seems kind of, he's like, I swear I'll uh, do something bad. Uh, I think we should just say no. Well, what if he oofs our kingdom? I, I smell cap, dude. <laughs> Mom says to him, bro, try to call your own mom. Adam says, hey, mom, I got myself a, a girlfriend. She said, you smell that, Justy? It smells like cat. <laughs> All right, hey, let's see what happens we say no. Oh, no. Oh, You've no. angered me now, sir. Watch your back. I hope he. I hope that wasn't bad, but uh, we probably should have offered him just one person. We have 2,000 people. Yeah, it's all right. A petition to bring the circus to town is circulating. Could attract tourists. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. That's great. 100 bucks. Let's go. Wow, that was great. That, that's going to cover the cost of today. Ooh, that was a close day, though. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's we go. just spent $100, though. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let's get, let's just stay focused on money, because I don't want to lose everything. Oh, who is this? It's a new fist wish. Advisor Pontus. Good day. I am Advisor Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom. This is really important, guys. Recently, a dispute has been raised between our queen and the plant kingdom. Okay. A plot of marshland has been discovered and must be legally marked as one of the kingdom's properties. Oh. Since the marsh contains water, clearly it must belong to the ocean queen. Uh. The plant queen refuses to listen to reason, however, and insists it should be hers. Will you support our claim to the marshland? Will you help the ocean kingdom? Oh, no. <laughs> guys, this is really tricky. How am I supposed to say yes or no? It's a marsh. Guys, a marsh. Marsh, not to be confused with a marshmallow. Marsh is where it's like a swamp, right? Yeah, so it's like kind of plant, kind of water. Dude, how am I supposed to, wait, but, okay, if I, he says, will you help the ocean kingdom? I can't say no, that's gonna make me look terrible. I think we gotta help him. But then Stumpy's gonna come back and oof us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's up I to actually you, don't man. Know what to do. I mean, I guess I'm gonna say yes. Although I'm gonna be honest, a marsh is not an ocean. I think that belongs more to the plant kingdom. Mm, your call. Oh man, that's tricky, man. I I can't say no though. I, if he just said, "Will you support our claim?" I would say no. But he said, "Will you help?" I have to help. I mean, you're you're the one in the crown, man. Dude, if Stumpy comes and oofs us, I'll be so upset. All right, they're saying that uh, with you on our side, we should be able to overpower the plant kingdom and take that marsh. No! I didn't want to overpower them! No! Uh oh! That's not what I meant, you little fist wet! <laughs> wow, at least we got money! Woo! Nice! This night is awesome, dude. Let's go. Yeah. Oh! Who's this? What? Sir Tortuga. Um, greetings. I am Sir Tortuga of the Shell Knights. We fight for all that is good and righteous. Okay. Is there anything you need assistance with here? Yes, a lot. Oh, very good. We'll set about it at once. We are very helpful. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so we just recruited the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or something. Oh, wow. And we got some money from the circus. Yeah, let's go. Nice. Okay, we're making a lot of money. That's good. That's good. That's really good because we need it because the builder's taking 100 every day. Man, little Timmy. All right, sure. Whatever. Go away. <laughs> go away. Go away. That's worth though. Three happiness is a great deal. All right, let's go. Yep, we're making a lot of gold, dude. This is really good. Wow, day 52. Okay, guys, day 52 is complete. We're zooming now. I really, I really don't want to make Stumpy and his kingdom mad though. Yeah, Mulder says, I'm ready to make my report. It seems the merchant's guild is being controlled by... I'm conspiracy. <laughs> I knew it. How do I know this? Sometimes you just know, you know? Yeah, you know. I know. Yeah, you're a knower. Yeah, I know you know. I know you know. That's it, Mulder? All right, I'll see you later. Cool. Oh, okay. It's the magical kitty again. Yep. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, sure. Aw, nice. Okay, this is not helping, though. I need, I need like, some big plays. Okay, this guy wants to go another quest. Of course. This guy can also go on quest. I really hope he doesn't oof at some point, because he brings back 250. It's huge. Yeah, he's really cool. Cool. Who's this? This is new. Mom says I need to ask your permission to go on an adventure. So can I please, please? Sure. All right, cool. All right, don't get oofed, please. Yeah, have fun. Your mom will be angry at us. Nice. Yeah, we're going to make some money from the candy. Let's go. Nice. Okay, see that turn? We did not make enough money to cover the 100. Yeah, but we're still at almost 500, so we're fine. Uh, yeah, unless Stumpy comes back and takes $9,000 from us. Yeah. Oh. Who's this? They're new. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Advisor Agaric. Hello, uh -oh. my name is Advisor Agaric. I represent the plant queen, Chanterelle. Okay, listen. I didn't side with the fish wish. He put me in a bad position. 
Okay. <laughs> we heard your announcement of support for the Ocean Kingdom in this matter of the marshland. Okay, I had no choice, dude. As a land filled with grasses and plant life, that marsh rightfully belongs to the plant queen. Okay, hey, that's not fair though, because there's seaweed in the ocean. That doesn't make it plants. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> Big brain. I will give you a chance to correct your mistake and announce your support for us instead. Oh, come on, dude. Make the right choice now. Will you back the plant kingdom? <laughs> Listen, I went to Burger King. I had this crown. I didn't know it come with this much responsibility. I don't know what to do. I mean, you're a king. You got to make king decisions. If I say yes, then the fish waste is going to come back and be angry. And the, if I say no, the plant kingdom is going to hate me. I think you should say yes. And then maybe both people will come at the same time. And then you'll be like, I support everyone. Good idea, dude. Just, just straddle the fence. Just sit on the fence. Don't make a choice. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just, just don't take responsibility for what's going on. Cool. Oh, wait. Whoa. All right. The central plaza restoration project is last complete. Thank you for your patience, sir. That's it. We got five happiness. You took like $900. Wait, he's got to pay us more. No, that's it. Oh, that's it? Mason! Okay, never give Mason money again. Nah, Mason's a troll. Yeah, we'll let these people in. Okay, our population's over 2,000. I didn't even realize our population's huge. Yeah, super good. Dude, you know, Lil, and then and then Lil Fang comes in here too. Are you serious, dude? Just making your day worse. We really spent all that money for five happiness? I thought it'd be way more than that. Yeah, so lame, dude. Maybe it'll pay something at the end of the day. Little Timmy literally gives us three happiness for one <laughs> coin. Little Timmy's better than that guy, basically. Yeah, you just have to listen to him baby talk, though. Yeah, I will have to listen to you do that anyways. That's because I hang out with the baby plushies all the time. Uh, yeah, I guess. All right, here we go, dude. All right. Oh, the jester's back. I, I let him put on a show. Yep, his show's going over well. He wants more money? Oh, funds. I shall need 400 gold. Nah, dude, you didn't even give us anything for the first show you put on. Yeah, say no. No, I'm not giving you 400 gold, dude. Uh, we only lost three happiness, but that was not I I don't it. care. I don't care. Four hundred. Little Timmy can give us back three happiness. You know what I'm saying? Right. Demands for my okay. services. Sure, you can raise prices. Sure, let's go. See, we just got three happiness back instantly. Yeah, good idea. Four hundred gold. You must be out your mind. There's been a brawl at the tavern. Should we arrest? Yep. Sure. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yep. Easy. 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 Easy choices. Easy life. Skelly's Whoa. back. I like Skelly. Any mysteries afoot? Sure, you can use that. Ten dollars is nothing. Go for it. Whoa, more money. The jester literally wanted four hundred dollars to put on a show. Nice. All in the green. Let's go. Day 55. Guys, I'm really, I, I look happy, but oh, 250 bucks. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, shall I show myself to the dungeons? No, it's okay, buddy. No, no problem. He returned with nothing. You forgive me? Oh, kind and gracious Lord bless you. Wait, so has it really been 50-50 if he gets treasure or not? Because he's gotten it every time except this one. Maybe, yeah. Wow, we got lucky. Oh, the lucky bot guy's back. I've been working on a video game. It's this new thing I came up with. Think it will catch on? Sure. Me too. I'm excited about the possibilities. Anyways, it's a game you play with others and go around oofing monsters. You get a sword, okay? Is this is this real life game? Because don't oof all of our friends. Uh, I would just say yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, swords are great, right? Nah, dude. He's going to get a sword in real life. <laughs> <laughs> so when you slay a monster, you get experience points. And hey, are you still listening? Yeah, I'm listening, dude. That sounds cool. <gasps> Whoa, look at all that money. Nice. See, we made money and happiness just for listening to his story. Wow, we're Reporting in, I figured out a mysterious new way to make gold. I'm not telling you, hee hee. All right, cool. Cool story, Skelly. Cool story. <clears throat> At least he gave us gold. All right, this guy's here to give us money. I, I Guys, I, I look happy on the outside, but deep down, I'm very stressed out about the two kingdoms and what they're going to do about that marshland. I don't know what to do. Yeah, let's just fly through these. I, I don't know what to do. I, guys, guys, a lot of these decisions we've seen before, so I'm just going to do what I know is the smartest choice, but I'm getting very, very worried about... Oh no, oh no, this guy's bad, oh no. Okay, King Andromeda says, hello good king, it seems the trouble regarding that marshland has all been cleared up. Nice, I don't know what I did, I think I actually made it worse, but it said it got cleared up. Nice, once Queen Chanterelle realized she won, she was willing to split the marsh with the Ocean Kingdom. Let's go! Wow, they shared it. Sometimes a leader just needs a bit of respect, you know? Okay, so guys, I actually think it doesn't matter what choice you make. Well, either way, your input helped break the stalemate. For that, I'm thankful. <laughs> we didn't do anything. We said both sides are right. We didn't help at all. <laughs> now, as promised, your seat on the council. Let's go! I'll have Pia make the final arrangements and inform you when we're ready to induct you. Let's go! Thank you again for your assistance in this matter. 
Hey, no problem, King Andromedus. Let's go. That might actually be the secret ending. Guys, we're gonna get the secret ending. Let's go, dude. We're actually zooming. So yeah, guys, we've seen most of these choices before. I'm just gonna make all the choices I know unless we see something new. Then it's gonna be super lit. Oh boy, it's Granny. All right, thanks, Granny. More more money from the soup shop. Cool. Thanks, Granny. I can't believe the Mason charges us that much money for three happiness. I still can't get over that, bro. Yeah. This is a gold. He got a gold generating machine. Hold on, this is new. It will take some time to construct and many resources, but at least if my calculations are correct, it will produce gold steadily for the rest of eternity. Five hundred gold, and it'll make gold forever. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go, dude. All right, don't let me down, bro. Don't. Wow, free gold. I mean. It costs 500, so we'll have to see if it actually pays for itself. Yeah, hopefully it does. Because the Mason scammed us. Right, yeah, that guy was not cool. The Mason literally scammed us. Yeah. Okay, scientists have constructed a large factory to further their work for the gold generating machine, but pollution is becoming a problem. The scientists are messing up everything. Yeah, you're right. And people can't sleep due to the music. The scientists better not have scammed me, bro. Yeah, if you got scammed, that would be real bad. I will oof that scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Lil Fang. All right, get this guy out of here. All right, cool, cool. You've called me that about nine times. Go away, dude. All right, okay, refugees, yeah, for sure. So, guys, we got a huge population right now. Yeah, we're flying through these choices. Huge population, but no money. Another cup of tea. Sure. Sure. It's only $10. Yeah, it's only $10. It's worth. We're almost at 500 happiness. That was my goal earlier. Yeah, nice. It's Stuart Little. Okay, yep. Some money. Cool. Aw, so cute. All right, guys, we're speedrunning this game right now. Let's go. Okay, uh, is there room in the budget? Uh, Our road network is expanding and is in need of maintenance. No, I'm gonna start turning stuff down. Yeah, you're right. Five happiness not worth. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Because maybe if we go in to get inducted by Princess Pia and we're like in debt, she won't let us in. That's what I'm saying, dude. Oh so, yeah, we gotta save our money. We gotta make money. Maybe to join the council, you need like a million dollars. Ooh, maybe. Gold to get an exterminator, sure, that's pretty cheap, yeah. So, you guys, we've seen these choices before, so I kind of know, like, it's not going to be too expensive. Right. Okay. We got 2,000 people, so anytime... Wait, should I? Maybe I should take Lil Fang now, because if he oofs like five people, it would still, if I get gold, that'd be worth. Right, yeah, we got a lot of people. Lil Fang is dangerous, dude. Fires have been breaking out frequently on Cabbage Street. Shall we install a well to make water more accessible? Yeah, it's gonna cost a lot of money. Oh no. Ouch! I didn't know it'd be that much. I thought it'd be a hundred. Oh no. Oh boy, we're in debt, guys. We're in debt, yo. I might need Lil Fang to help us out, dude. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, nice. A chest of gold. Yes, we'll accept the gift. This guy is awesome. This guy's the best, dude. This guy's the best. Yeah, he's cool. He's the best, dude. Let's go. Oh, would Should you like to purchase, purchase any swords? I've already bought so many swords, dude. I'm sorry. I gotta say no. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I've got swords like all the time. How do they need more swords? Special. Yeah, these are really cheap. It's like 10 bucks. Oh, it's five bucks. Yeah, easy. Yeah, I still really want to see what happens with that dragon. I know. We really. Oh, let's go. All right. Let's go. We've got a bunch of money. Okay. 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 That was a quick day. Okay. Do we, yeah. Tax him. The happiness is going to go down. We make a hundred dollars. It's good. Money, 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 money. We're only at $200 though. I mean, we're, we're still not looking that good. Yeah, you're right. We need money like very badly. Oh, haircuts. Yeah. I'll take a fresh cut. The, the happiness goes up. Yeah, it's free. Nice. It's because you look so nice. I'm speed running this game, dude. He's going to pay us $15. Hey, I already know what's going to happen, man. All right, let's see. Can we beat the game right here? We're going to speed run. We're, we're, we're going to get the secret ending, dude. Right here. Yeah. It's going to be late. I think you got to oof the dragon to get it. Oh, yeah. Maybe you'll oof the dragon and then you get inducted to the um, uh, Hall of Fame or whatever it's called. Yeah, that'd be lit. The council. Yeah. That'd be pretty lit, huh? I wonder what would happen if you told the blacksmith to not work on the dragon sword. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you get a different ending. Yeah, maybe you get like a bad ending where the dragon... Oh, okay. Advisor P is back. Good, Good day, day we're sir. Ready to... Good day, sir. We're ready to officially induct you to the council of crowds. Let's go. Whoa. There are a few formalities to observe. Can I skip over those and give you the short version? Uh, should we say no? Well, all right. Hope you're comfortable with it. Yeah, tell me the long version. Because I, what if she like skipped stuff for the short version that I need to know? All right. IP of the Celestial kingdom do hereby call this court to session the matter at hand is the joining of this king to our esteemed council of crowns okay as a formally appointed advisor i speak with the authority of the celestial kingdom for ages the kingdom has joined kings and queens from across the globe in alliances i offer my blessing on behalf of the celestial kingdom and ask that all other advisors present do so as well okay so they're all going to grant me into the council oh it's the mushroom guy nice i agaric of the plant kingdom do hereby offer my support let's go here comes the fish wish I, Pontus of the Ocean Kingdom, do hereby offer my support. Let's go. 
<laughs> okay, they're all just gonna come up. It was Yarno! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Button boy lied to us! <laughs> I, Yarno, the comfy kingdom, do hereby offer my support. All right, you got it. I told you I was the true advisor. Yeah, 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 Yarno. I know that now. Yarno, he said Yarno out. <laughs> <laughs> Just be out. That's what I say to Adam. Yeah. That's what I say to him. Okay, let's go. Um, yes. Where was I? Okay, here we go. With the support of all existing council kingdoms, you are granted the right to, to join. I offer you the ceremonial coin as has been offered to the generations of kings. Let's go. Okay, one dollar. What? Now you have been officially inducted. I must now call on the members of the council themselves to greet you. <gasps> We're going to meet them. I told you there would be formalities, okay? King Andromedus, I ask you to step forward. Wow. Everybody's going to say hello. Welcome, King, to the council. We're happy to have you. I'm happy to be here. I look forward to the shared success of our kingdoms. Nice. That's lit. Oh, it's a new character. I, Queen Chanterelle of the Plant Kingdom, do welcome you. Let's go. May your roots grow strong and your leaves reach high. That's what Stumpy said to us. Yeah. yeah. Stumpy a little bit sus. Oh, okay. It's the Mermaid Queen, ruler of the Ocean Kingdom. It's Queen Sereth. As the tides change, so does our council. We are happy to have you. Let's go, dude. Wow, everyone likes us. Who's that? Oh, it's the Yarn King. Uh, Kingpin says, greetings. I am Kingpin of the Comfy Kingdom. Welcome to the council. Let's go. Sorry about Yarno. He can be a bit of a goof. Yeah. He's harmless though, just a troublemaker. The real fellow to look out for is Button Boy! <laughs> Bad Button has been trying to rob Yarno of his position for years. Apologies, this is your ceremony. I shouldn't be talking about personal matters. You've got my blessing, of course, welcome. Let's go, dude. Wait, is this the secret ending right here? I think it is, yeah. Bro, is that everybody? That was so long. Well, it's done. I hereby call to end this session of court. Thanks for staying awake. I know that ceremony can be quite tiring. That was fine. Now that you're part of the council, representatives from other kingdoms may come to you for help. Make sure you do your best to assist them. And sincerely, congratulations. The council is the highest rank to which a king can rise. We beat the game! No way! Let's go! Wow! And now little Timmy's back! <laughs> <laughs> we actually beat the game. Is that the secret ending, bro? That was the secret ending. Yeah, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Go check out LankyBoxShop.com. We actually joined the council and beat the game. Dude, we joined the max level council. They said that's the highest level a king can go to. Wow. Bro, we just got to finish out this day, bro. Let's go. That guy made friends. Hey, it's Lil Fang, dude. Hey, hey. How, how crazy that we end the game with Lil Fang, dude. I know, right? Dude, by joining the council of crowds, you've completed the game! We're seeing if Justin can solve five extreme riddles! What's this? Steven was walking along a river. Okay. He, he saw a scientist on the riverbank. Was that me? Uh, what? He oh. was poisoning the water. Stop it! What are you doing? The scientist poured a powerful sleeping potion into the river. Huh? One drop can put an elephant to sleep. Huh? Strong stuff. Stephen rushed to the city to warn everyone. Save everybody, Stephen. But the scientist caught him. He yeeted Stephen. He brought Stephen to his island on the river. Stephen needs to escape and warn the city. There are three possibilities. Uh, First, a bridge. Okay, okay, that seems reasonable. Not so fast. The scientist guards are patrolling it. Oh, they look tough, bro. Yeah. Second, another bridge. <laughs> Careful, Stephen. A hungry lion is guarding it. Rawr. Or the third option, a boat. A boat. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But there's danger everywhere. Little crocodiles. There are savage crocodiles in the river. Crocodilia. They can flip the boat and eat Stephen. Don't. Stephen managed to escape and warn the city. How did he do it? Which way did he choose? Okay. <laughs> now, guys, this is going to be a real fun video. I have five different riddles that I'm gonna see if Justin can solve. And if he can solve most of them, so three, four, or five out of them, I have a big prize for you. I, I already got the answer, bro. All right. I drank the milk power up to get my brain big. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, but that wasn't one of the options. My brain's max power, dude. You have to pick one of these options. I know, what he, said. I know what he did. What? He went the lion. He said, 
And then the lion became his friend. And then he rode off on the lion into the sunset. Um, I think the lion probably would have eaten him. Wait a minute, Adam. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. But this one seemed a little bit too easy. A little, little bit too easy. Really? <laughs> now, guys, play along. See if you can beat Justin and actually outsmart him. I bet the guards almost look a little bit like you. So what Steven might have done said, you want some milk? <laughs> And then tricked the guards and ran past them. I, I mean, think, I think I know the answer, but could it be that easy, bro? We could act it out and this see. This a little baby, little baby mo. Oh, you want let, to let, Let's pretend, Justin, Steven, you're on the island. I'm the guard. You got to get past me. Hey, you want some milk? <laughs> Choices. This is what Steven would do. He'd play for his life. Uh, so, guys, you have to pick one of the three options. Either the bridge to the lion, the bridge to the guards, or take a boat with a bunch of crocodiles I think in. it's the boat, bro. I think I'm going to lock that in, bro. Okay, why would the boat be the answer? Because, first off, crocodiles can't mm. flip over a boat. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Silly. A second, rewind. Beep, beep, beep. Back it up. <laughs> the scientists pour stuff in the water that puts people to sleep. The crocodiles will be snoozing. Oh, all right. Let's see what the answer is. I'm a genius, dude. There's no way I got this wrong. There's no way. But this is the first riddle. It's the easiest one. Yes, so. guys. The riddles are going to get harder and harder. Okay. <gasps> let's go. Steven chose the ball. My brain is huge. The crocodiles would be sleeping, bro. They <laughs> sounded dangerous, right? But remember the sleeping hey, potion. Hey, you sneeze. Was you lose, they be sleeping, bro. All the crocodiles were sleeping because remember the scientists poured in sleeping potions. Let's go. Okay, riddle number two. A criminal was hiding from the cops. Hey, yo. Okay. <laughs> okay, they were hiding. He'd been on the run for ages. Okay, he's he's like robbing the bank. A detective was on the case, but this criminal was like a ghost. Huh? One day, an undercover agent called in with info about the criminal. He was in a small village living with a fake family. Okay, this one is getting complicated. The undercover agent said they saw the robber living with a fake family? Exactly. Okay, okay. They were just actors. You got actors? After a few days, the detective found two suspects. Okay. Mr. Jackman said they've been in that house for ages. Okay. He's a middle school teacher. Okay, oh, so, okay, so, hey, back this up. This guy, the robber, is either Mr. Jackman or Mr. Darling, and now we're hearing the stories that alibi the excuses of wh who he is. Exactly. So one of these people is actually the criminal. All right, let's go. Let's hear Mr. Jackman's story. All right, so Mr. Jackman said they'd be living in that house for ages. He's a middle school teacher. He's definitely not the criminal. Okay, middle school teacher, huh? Mr. Darling said he didn't know anything about the criminal. Okay. He and his family had never even gotten a parking ticket. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? The detective had an idea. He asked to see their family photos album. Which family? Family is fake. How am I supposed to know based on these photos? Now, you might want to rewind and see maybe what were the families eating. Yeah. Were there any clues? That's what I was looking at. <laughs> that was the most important clue. So here, they got some cupcakes. She got some Kool-Aid. Would a criminal eat Kool-Aid and cupcakes? I don't know. Do you That's eat Kool-Aid and cupcakes? I think it might. I eat the cupcakes. <laughs> I eat the Kool-Aid and the cupcakes. Stop it! You're messing me up. I'm thinking already it's him. Really? Because you know, the Kool-Aid man help me break out when I get grounded. The Kool-Aid man? Yeah, he helps me bust through the walls. <laughs> oh, yeah! Now, let me remind you, Justin, if you get more than half of these riddle right, you get a nice prize. I want a nice prize. So, really focus. You gotta get this I'm one focused. right. I'm focused, bro. Let me think. Now, I noticed a pattern. Everybody in this family drinking something different. She got Kool-Aid. He got some tea or something. She got orange soda pop. Oh, maybe she uses that orange juice to dye his hair orange. Maybe. Oh! Because a criminal might a, dye it's their a hair. fake identity. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just kidding. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Okay, now wait, listen. Now, they're not eating their vegetables, bro. You notice that? Oh, yeah. The dad and the mom are not eating the salad. That's a bad boy right there. Mm. I'm thinking it might be him. Okay, now let me go look over here. Now, here, everybody drinking water and they're eating spaghetti with some meatballs. Now, do you think it's weird that the mom and the boy have the same color of shirt on, but the daddy has green? <laughs> Why would that be weird? You and your mommy wear the same clothes all the time. <laughs> 
Well, let's just, okay. Hey, I'm the baby. Let's act this out. I'll wear what I want. So, okay. Baby Foxy will yeah. be the, the, the baby boy. Okay. I'll be the mom and you'll okay. be the dad. I'm the baby. Do you feel like a criminal? No. <laughs> I'm a smooth criminal. Dun 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 dun. Hey, <laughs> back off. What is this house? I'm trying help? to help you. He's not helping. All right, fine. I'm thinking meatballs, criminals. Oh, it rhymes. I don't know, bro. All right, now let me look at these, bro. Now let me think. Now remember, guys, these are the family photos that the detective asked to see. Wait, this is so confusing, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold up. I think it's got to be this guy. Because look. These are just family photos. This was taken on different months. You know, they're chilling. Oh, right. Are those dates? Yeah, they're dates. What else do you think they are? Oh. Like 12, like December 21st. Oh, okay. So these photos were all taken on the same day. Oh, Impossible. Dude. Oh. Impossible. Impossible. Do you think maybe the dad came in and took all these photos so it looks like they're real, but they're actually just actors? I think he took these photos, yeah, on a green screen, bro, with his actor family. That bird is an actor. Wow. All right, let's see what the actual answer is. Did Justin get it right? I think that's what it is, man. So it wasn't the meatballs? It, it was meatballs, criminals. All right, let's see, guys. Will Justin actually get this right or will he get it wrong? Bro, I think I got this right, man. I think I got it right. First family doesn't look that happy, but they're real. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go. Their photos were taken in different places. All on the same day, bro. That's yeah. Not, not possible. Well, same date Photoshop fail. Wow. Okay, so Justin's two out of two, but we got three left. So you could still lose. I can't. <laughs> Detective Brown sent off the ambulance. Okay. In it, the unconscious CEO of a major company. Huh? Okay. The detective found a note with a number on the CEO's desk. A number? He put it in his pocket. Okay, hold on. Let me get this straight. This is a detective. The guy in the ambulance who was passed out was a CEO. CEO of a big company. Okay, so some super powerful guy, and he found a note with a number on it in his office. Okay, yep. okay, I'm following. Then he questioned the staff. Okay, I'm following. Okay. I came into his office once to sign some papers, said John. <laughs> Likely story, John. I was late today. I didn't even see our CEO. Okay. He sent me to another office across town. I spent the whole day there, okay. said Josh. Okay. So here's our three suspects. The detective looked at the note again. Okay. One, two, three. Three, one. That's my Roblox password. I wouldn't say that on camera. How did he get my Roblox password, bro? How did he get it, bro? Well, now everyone's gonna hack you. Wait, what? <laughs> don't hack me! Don't! Uh, Foxy can edit that out. Okay, yeah, Foxy says I will edit that out to me. I, I will definitely edit that out. Hey, yo, okay, the note says one, two, three, one, bro. He knew who had committed the crime. What? Who? What? Okay, now this one. <laughs> this is tricky. So let me just do a quick recap. The CEO got oofed. But before he got oofed, he wrote down that secret code, 1231, and now the detective is able to just crack the case. Bro, call me sticky because I'm stuck. <laughs> call me sticky because this one's tricky. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know, dude. Oh, actually, I do know. CEO left it right here, dude. Easy. One, two, three, one. It's John, dude. You think it's like an eeny, meeny, <laughs> miny, mo type thing? <laughs> Yeah. You want to lock it in? I don't. I actually don't know, guys. Now, let us know in the comments if you're able to get this one because I'm actually stumped. I'm not even kidding. Now, let me go back and look at the stories one more time, bro. Okay. Now, on this one, I mean, these are supposed to get harder and harder. I'm only going to give you one solid guess. Okay. So, you really got to be sure. All right. That's all I need. I came into the office once to sign some papers. That sounds reasonable. I was late today. I didn't even see our CEO. Okay. That sounds Possible. He sent me to another office across town. I spent the whole day. That also sounds possible. How am I supposed to get the answer from this, bro? Oh, I don't want to give you any hints. <laughs> I'm thinking because the eeny, meeny, miny, mo technique is John. Because it's one, two, three, one. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm thinking this might be the biggest brain. Hold on. Let me get some more. <laughs> <laughs> so you can drink Milky, but I can't? Yeah, you're not allowed to. Because Milky's my friend. I don't actually drink him. I just get him the power up. I, I just went huge brain. This might be the hugest brain play I've ever done, bro. What's your answer? What if this means 1231 p.m.? So it's like he wrote down like I got a meeting at 1231. Lunchtime. And who was late for a meeting? Otto was the only one who said they had a meeting. But this might be some reverse psychology. 
Might be Josh, because he's the only one I don't suspect. Maybe this is an address. One, two, three, one Sesame Street. You know what I mean? Yeah, and wait. That, and he went across the street to go to uh, an office, right? Yep. Or what if you add up the numbers and it tells you like the letter of an alphabet? Are you serious? How did I not think of that, bro? One plus two. Okay, so... <laughs> Not sure. What's one plus two? Okay, I'm a lock in. Oh, I know. Mm, you gotta explain why, though. I don't know. I just didn't <laughs> want to do the math. Well, okay, if you take one plus two, that's three. Plus three, that's six. Plus one, that's seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What's the next letter? H. So maybe the name has the letter H in it. So it's either John <laughs> or Josh. So I'm back where I started. <laughs> You trying to mess us up, man. I don't know. Stop, bro. Detective Justy, Detective Foxy, we're on the case, bro. What is the answer? Guys, this is by far one of the harder riddles. Okay, this got way too hard, way too fast, bro. I really don't know. I'm going to go with John, bro. All right, I'm Justin. Gonna, I'm going to go with John. Going to lock in John for the eeny, meeny, miny, mo uh, that's, strategy. That's the clearest. One, two, three, one. That's the clearest one I can do, bro. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Dude, also, if we do your method, add them. So seven, one, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All signs point to John. All right, here we go. Let's go. Lock it in, John. I know you did it, John. This was a crazy riddle, guys. I know, I know you did it, John. Here's the answer. It's a clue. Okay. Of John. One, two, three, one. What? Otto is the criminal because if you take the first letter of each of the numbers, it spells out Otto. I was so close. Dude. I got the one, two, three, one. <laughs> I just, I misinterpolated the message. <laughs> so Justin got that one wrong. Ah! Next riddle. Okay, guys. Hey, I might have taken an L on that last one, but I'm going to get this one, bro. Okay, pop star Sarah. Okay. Pop star Sarah. Okay, she's a pop star. Bought three ancient vases. Okay, 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 nice. She got them off a collector. She bought them from a collector, okay. He said the vases were thousands of years old. Wow, that's really old, okay. The first was from ancient Greece. It was made for a wealthy Greek. Okay. The second was from ancient Rome. Okay. It belonged to an empress. It was stolen from her palace. The third was made by an ancient Chinese master. Okay. So all three of these vases are super old, guys. Okay. Sarah couldn't wait to show off three new vases. Yeah, that's a flex, honestly. Time to throw a party. Okay, she threw a party. Okay. Wow, so these are thousands of years old. She invited all her friends. Wow, she got a lot of friends. And her nemesis, Alexa, of course. Of course. What? Who's that? Alexa would be so jealous. Alexa is the one, the person in the phone. Alexa showed up in a beautiful dress. Okay. She wasn't impressed with the vases. Why not? One of the vases is fake. How? Which vase is fake? What? Okay, so guys, apparently all three of these vases were supposed to be thousands of years old and super valuable and super rare. But Alexa came in and said, I know one of these is super fake. Mm. How did she know? Well, I know. That's obvious because she's Alexa. She, Alexa, please turn up the volume. You think Amazon? I think is it's the Alexa, answer? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Alexa does everything. Um, I mean, on. there might be some clues hidden throughout. Maybe it's her friend. Hold on. I don't know. This one's too hard, bro. I don't know about ancient history. I don't even know what happened last week. Right? It's probably, hold on. I mean, it's probably some history like this. Like, it belonged to an empress or something. And I don't know where from Rome or Greece or something. Right? Right? I mean, this Something, was made thousands of years ago. Some history, bro, is probably like they weren't allowed to draw these types of birds or something. Then that's the answer. Mm, maybe there's a clue at the party. Was the anyone party? eating something suspicious? All right, hey, let me check. That's a good idea, bro. She yeah. juggling. She juggling. I yeah, don't do that with thousand-year-old vases. Dude, Sarah. Bro, she's the fake one, dude. Oh, my goodness. What? I'm so smart, bro. Okay, here's Sarah's friends. Do you think they're like robots? This guy might. Me, yeah. <laughs> Cause he got an iPad, yeah. Well, you have an iPad. No, that's your mom's iPad. I know, but you're not a robot. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, maybe there's a hint on the balloon. I'm gonna say, so this is the collector who sold her the vases, right? Right. Maybe there's a clue. 
<laughs> Maybe it's a clue on him. What's so funny? What, like, what is funny? Explain. No, what is your idea? I said maybe there's a clue on him. Why is that funny? Where would the clue be? Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> you staring at his booty. Like, that can where you was. just stop? But well, that was your idea. My idea is there's a hint on him. Why don't you laugh and start thinking about the booty? So you think maybe it's like on his wrist? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or maybe he had to do his haircut. All right, so what is the what is suspicious about the collector? Guys, see if you can solve this riddle. It's really tough. Okay, he's got a wristband. This is the collector, the guy that sold Sarah the, the ancient vases. The wristband is the same color as two of the vases, but not this one. <gasps> hey, yo. But the guy's hair is kind of similar in color to them as well. Yeah, but not this one. Right. That's This is looking like the different one. Okay, now something a little bit sus is these little aeroplanes. Is that sus? I don't know. It looks like emojis, man. I think they had emojis back then, like thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think they had airplanes back then. How else would they have gotten to Disneyland? That's what I'm saying. How would they have built the ancient city of Greece without Teslas? Planes. Because you put, yeah, Greece. Greece. <laughs> when I eat French fries, I get covered in grease. And the French fry potatoes get flown. You're close. On an airplane into the grease. You are close with french fries, I think. This is the color of french fries, bro. Yeah? This looks like some sort of mythical creature. I don't know if there's a real bird that looks like that. Do you think maybe that's sus? A little bit sus. Oh, look at the last one. Looks like a, a claw crab or yeah, something. Yeah, looks like some sort of Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs wasn't around back then. This might have been made by Mr. Krabs. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm stalling. I don't know what the answer is, if I'm being honest. I mean, I think we gotta lock in an answer here. See if you can can beat Justin. He's gonna make his guess. I'm gonna ask Kenny because Kenny, Kenny's not a vase, but you know he holds stuff, right? What, what do you think, Kenny? I'm leaning towards this one because these ones have handles, so you can grab them. Uh huh. You can't how you pick this one up? That's true. Uh, you want to lock that in? Yeah. The I mean. Mr. Krabs vase. Yeah. All right. I think I have to. Guys, Justin's going to lock in the third vase, the blue one. Let's see what the answer actually is. Guys, let us know. It's just because the other ones look similar. You know what I mean? They look right. similar, and this one looks different. After that last auto one, my brain feels like it's in a deep fryer. Yeah. Wait a minute. Fries, French fries, grease. You want to switch your answer to the middle one? Grease. Nah, you're trying to trick me. All right, here we go. Let's see what the answer is. Let's go, let's go. Now remember, these vases were made thousands of years ago. Okay. The fake one was the first one because it has airplanes on it. <laughs> and airplanes weren't invented. Yes, out they were! No, they didn't yes, have... they were! They didn't have airplanes thousands of years yes, ago. Yes, they did. No. Yes. No, it was like a hundred years ago when the first airplane ever was flown. That's not true. Tesla's been around for millions of years. No, Ooh. it hasn't. Wow. You tricked me. Guys, were you able to get that one? I tried to help you. You threw me off the scent. You got me thinking about French fries. Now I'm smelling French fries <laughs> on the scent of the fries. Well, that means that Justin has gotten too correct, too wrong. We have one more to see if he can actually win the prize. Okay. It all comes down to this, the room. The final riddle. The room. Let's get out of the classroom. Okay, this guy is pretty cool. He got a skateboard. Yeah, pretend you're him. I got a skateboard. We're on holiday, remember? Huh? He's going into a barn. Okay. Imagine you're in a room with some animals. <laughs> There's a rabbit <laughs> holding a carrot. Is that Bugs Buddy? Maybe. From Space Jam. A pig eating food. Okay. And a chimp holding a banana. Okay, he's holding a banana, okay. Which animal is the smartest? What? So, you walk into a barn, there's three animals in front of you. You got a bunny, a piggy, and a monkey, and they're eating different things. Which animal is the smartest in the barn? It doesn't make any sense, bro. I I, what, am I supposed to, what am I supposed to be, a, a biologist? Now, I would say Bugs Bunny is pretty smart. He played in Space Jam, he's very smart. Right? I have actually heard that pigs are very, very smart animals. I have heard that. Do you think Think you are smarter than a pig? Do you think that the pig is smarter than the bunny? You just gave it away right there. What? <laughs> that you're not smarter than a pig? Is this riddle really trying to say which animal and they're saying this guy is an animal, bro? I don't know. Are they? I think that might be the answer. That might be a trick question. But how do I know this guy's smart? He could be not very smart at all. Well, you haven't even thought about the monkey so far. That's because I know his intellect is off the chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bananas are delicious. I learned everything from Curious George. 
Porridge. Right. I'll ask you again, which animal is the smartest? I mean, I'm tempted to say the monkey, but it has to do with the food, bro. Because carrots give you good eyesight. Maybe. So that raises your IQ. How about you let me think? You barely hear myself think. All right. All right. Over your all right. I was going to give you a great idea, but okay. I think the riddle wants me to say this person because humans are with technically animals. I mean, maybe it would help. I'm a beast. I'm an animal on the basketball court. <laughs> maybe it would help if you put yourselves inside the minds of an animal. Okay. Like, what would it be like to be a monkey? How smart would you be? What would it be a like genius. to be a rabbit? Genius. What Love about a piggy? Buddy. Piggy, I've heard pigs are very, very smart. And I will say, the pig is the only one eating its food. This guy just holding his carrot, not very smart. Or on the other hand, maybe they are smart because they're saving it for when they're hungry. Mm. I don't do that. I just eat food if it's in front of me. I think you got to lock in the answer. I think I, I, I don't think I got it. I think I'm going to think about this one because all, all, all the marbles are on the table right now. I'm going to pick up the prize. I'm not going to show you guys what it is yet, but I know Justin's going to like this prize. The answer is either the monkey or the person himself. I think it wants me to say the person, but how do I know the person's smart, bro? Do you think that we are smarter than monkeys? I think one of us is smarter than a monkey. I don't, I'm not going to say who. I don't you know. shouldn't say that about yourself. Right? I think you're smarter than a monkey. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, now I said who it was. You think I'm not as smart as I didn't say that. I never said that. I just said only one of us. I didn't, oh, say, that. I didn't say that, bro. Okay. It's not your fault. I mean, I was, I was raised by monkeys. Right. So... <laughs> Yeah, that's true. You were in the jungle book. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, it's not your fault. Yep. <laughs> it's either the monkey or the person, and I don't know. Would it help you to either have a skateboard or a banana? Both at the same time. You want me to go get you a skateboard and a banana? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, thanks, Adam. Thanks. Okay, guys, I have Justin's skateboard, which does not have wheels. Yes, he does. TikTok And a banana. Okay. So, hopefully this will help him solve the riddle. Okay, easy. There's no way I mess this up now. Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna do a trick on my skateboard, show everyone. I think that's a bad idea. You're not that good at skateboard. Don't tell me what to do. I got a banana. So this is as if he was the human I got with the this. skateboard. And human slash monkey with the banana, because those are the two I'm considering. Okay. <laughs> Did that help you get the answer? <laughs> Wait, that helped you? I got the answer. What is it? It's a monkey. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the monkey? Cut. Genius. Why? Monkey will take the banana peel. Uh-huh. Throw it on the ground, and the human will slip on it on their skateboard. Oh! Just like a Mario Kart. Okay, you want to lock in the monkey? Lock it in. All right, let's see what the answer is. Gotta be the monkey, dude. Unless it's a trick question. I would say between these three animals, I would expect the monkey to have the highest IQ. That would be really embarrassing if you just did all that and got the wrong answer. I got the right answer, dude. Wow. The answer is, you're the smartest animal in the room. Wait, that's me? Yeah. Keep going. It's the boy. Humans are also animals. I knew it. And the prize was gonna be a king size milky chocolate bar. What? But instead, I actually get to eat it because you did not get that. Like last heck one right. you are, Adam. No, this is mine now. Like heck you are. Damn, look some milk. Wait. Hey! Oh, Adam, it's really dark in here. Where are we? Well, I think we're inside some presents. Oh, man, we're inside some present boxes. We're about to be born. Whoa! Wow, guys, check it out. It's me, Justin, and Sunrise. Oh, we're little babies. That means Freddy Fazbear Chica must be our mommy and daddy. Wow, we're babies right now. We're going to go all the way from birth to death with Sunrise. Oh, man, this is so cool. Sunrise and Moondrop. He turns to Moondrop if the lights go out. Remember, Adam? Yeah. Oh, I want to go play in that play area over there. Whoa, that's the daycare from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. But wait, Freddy Fazbear is closing the doors and he's walling it off. He says we're not old enough to go in the daycare yet. Oh, come on, Daddy. Freddy, can we please go over there? Oh, come on, Dad. Come on. Oh, he says we got to wait a few years until we grow up. Oh, man, I can't wait to go to that daycare. It's so cool in there. That's okay for now. Let's just go to bed. Let's just go to sleep. No problem. All right, fine. Well, we can T-pose. Yeah, we're T-posing on our parents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to sleep because, you know, we're little babies and babies like to sleep a whole lot. 
lot, you know? Yeah, Mommy Chica says we gotta go to bed soon. All right, let's all go to sleep. No problem. Oh, yeah. Oh, this must be our bedroom. This is so neat. Wow, cool. Let's jump on the beds, guys. Yeah, this one's mine. I claim this one. Wow, Sundrop's having fun, too. Oh, this is so cool. We're little babies with baby Sundrop, okay? Dad and Mom are saying goodnight, and they're gonna tuck us in and leave us alone. Okay, here we go. All right, good night, guys. Good night, everybody. But wait a minute, Adam. We're not supposed to turn the lights out, right? Because then Sundrop will turn into Moonrise? Um, no, he shouldn't turn to Moondrop. Yeah, he should be okay. You're our friend, right, Sunrise? Yeah, we're, we're all buddies here. Okay. <sighs> oh, uh -huh. ah! Ah, wait, he did turn into Moonrise. Oh, no, this is bad. Oh, no, it's Moondrop and he's chasing us. Ah, go away, Moondrop. Oh, no, 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 Adam. This is so bad. Run. We got to hide behind these animatronics. We're in the Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach Pizza Plex and we're trapped in here with baby Moondrop. Oh, no, guys. This is not good. We're going to go all the way from birth to death. Oh, this might be death right here. Oh, we're cornered. Goodbye, Adam. Oh, oh someone yeah. turn on the lights, please. Oh, it's Mommy and Daddy to the rescue. Oh, hey, Mommy. How's it going? Oh, man. Mommy Chico saved our lives. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. We turn off the lights and I guess sunrise turns into Moondrop when you hit the lights. Okay, they're telling us to go back to bed. Freddy Fazbear says he has a solution. He says he could just leave on a nightlight for us to go to sleep and it'll be no problem. Oh, wow. Good thinking, Daddy. Freddy. Wow, this is so awesome. Oh, man, let's go to sleep. That was so crazy. And then hopefully in a few years, we'll all be older. Now we are older. Oh, man, it's been several years, and now we're allowed into the daycare. Wow, hey. guys, check it out. We're older now. Hey, we're allowed into the daycare. This is so cool. This is just like the daycare from Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Whoa, we're no longer babies, guys. Oh, man, not at all. We're pretty old now. We get to play on this awesome daycare. Whoa. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. This is so much fun. This is so lit, everybody. Okay, mom and dad are dropping us off at the daycare. They're saying for us to behave. Wait, but we're in here with Sundrop again. What if he turns into Moondrop? Oh, yeah, Sunrise, you're not going to turn into Moondrop, are you? No, probably not. As long as the lights stay on and it's really well lit in here. Yeah, you're right. Wow, there's a roller coaster we could ride. Oh, yeah. This place is so cool. As long as the lights stay on, we should be safe. Yeah, you're right. Wait a minute, Adam. We played here for too long. The lights are going out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, that's not good. Wait, wait a minute, Adam. Well, what is Sunrise doing over there next to the light switch? Hey! No! Sunrise turned off the lights and he turned himself into evil moon drop. Ah, he turned off the lights. He shut off the generators by himself, Adam. Go quick up this trampoline. He's trying to oof us. Wait a minute, dude. I think I know how to turn him back to Sunrise. How do we stop this, Adam? Just like in the game, we have to find five generators hidden throughout the play area. Oh, man. We gotta find five generators like Five Nights at Freddy's but in Minecraft. Exactly, dude. So we gotta find all of them just like that one. There's one right there. Okay, guys, we just gotta follow. Oh, there's another one right there. We gotta follow the cables on the ground and we gotta restore power to five generators so we can stop this Moondrop evil boss. Yeah, we gotta turn back on the lights before Moondrop oofs us. Even though he's our friend. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, follow this wire, Adam. This must take us to a generator. Oh, yeah, it's just like in Security Breach. Oh, this is so scary, man. Oh, we can't go up here. Go up the stairs. Nice. Good thinking. Oh, it must be in here. There's. Wait, we need a password. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, I see a password. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's a pretty good password. That's the password to my Roblox account. Whoa, we got a lever. Nice. Okay, here we go. Let's go use it. Okay, okay, up here. Nice, through the door. And we can turn on this generator. Wow, this is lit. Wow, guys, it was difficult just to even find the first one. And we're not even there yet. We got to beat this little trampoline obby. All right, that's one out of five generators. We got to turn on four more. This is so crazy. We're not even at the first one yet. There it is. Finally, we made it here. All right, here's the first one, guys. We did it. Woo! That's one out of five. Let's go find the other ones, guys. We gotta turn on all the lights to turn our friend back to normal. Yeah, I think I saw one near the roller coaster. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, there's one down there. Okay, okay. And I think there's some more in this jungle gym over here. Oh, yeah. I'll follow you. Oh, man. It's like we're at the Mick Play Place at McDonald's. Yeah, we get to slide down the slide. But it's not fun time, Adam. No, oh, there's Moondrop, he's chasing us! Oh no, Moondrop is so scary! Run! Okay, okay, over here, Adam, over 
over here. Go, 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 go. All right, you lead the way. Okay, we're going up this trampoline obstacle course. We got to find another generator. Wee! 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 Go! All right, guys, we're almost here. Yep, there's one over here. I'm pretty sure, Adam. Nice, nice, nice. This is generator two out of five. We just got to ride this roller coaster to get there. Whoa, that's going to be lit. Oh, it's going to be cool, but it's going to be real tricky because Moondrop is there to oof us if we fall. Oh, no, nice. Go, go, go. Woo! That was so fun, and it took us to another generator. All right, is that two out of five? Yep, this is two out of five right here, dude. This is the second generator. This is so cool. There we go. Nice, nice. We're almost halfway there. We got to find three more generators, and then we can turn lights back on in here. There's a third generator in here, but this door is locked. I think to get in here, we have to beat this Freddy Fazbear dance competition video game. Are you serious, dude? Okay, Adam, time to get your dance on. We both got to get the high score if we want to unlock that door. Oh, well, the music here sounds hey. pretty lit. Hey, yeah, hey. Whoa, this is awesome. Hey. I learned these dance moves from Glam Rock Freddy. Yeah, wow, we got to keep dancing. We're almost going to beat it. Yeah, Freddy is our daddy. Yeah, daddy, let's Freddy. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Hey, let's go. We beat the game. Wow, cool. The door's open. Go, 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 go inside. All right, all right, all right. Let's turn on this generator. Nice. We got the third generator on. But wait a minute, Adam. Oh, no. Moondrop hurt us in here. Now he cornered us in this room. Wait, are we trapped? Oh, what do we do, Adam? We're actually trapped in here. Oh, Moondrop is so scary. He's so close to us. Oh, there's an escape hatch out the top. Wow, guys, that was a close one. Oh, man. Go on the emergency exit. Do back to the headquarters. Yeah, we need two more generators, guys. Then we're gonna be able to turn on the lights and free ourselves from Moondrop. Okay, guys, we're following the cables here. There must be one over this way. Wow, and this is a birth to oof. So we're actually gonna oof at the end of this video? No, dude, we're growing older, dude. Wow. I'm growing old from the stress. It says one of these doors leads to a trap, dude. Alright, let's try this door. Okay, I'm after you. Ah, there's zombies in here. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Ah! There's zombies everywhere. Is this a trap or is this the real one? I think this might be the trap. Oh, no. This is so bad. Wait a minute, Adam. We could go across this bridge and then sabotage the bridge. Oh. And all the zombies will fall. Genius. <laughs> gotcha. Got him. Yeah. Wow, we're smart. All right, let's try out this generator. Is this real or fake? Okay, let's press it. Oh, I don't think anything's happening. This must be the fake one. Uh, it might have been real. I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's try the other door. See if it works. All right, let's see, guys. What? It says... Ah! Oh, we fell. That must have been the trap. Oh, no. Maybe we did turn on the real one. Oh, who's jumping in after us? Oh. Oh, no, dude. It's an animatronic. Wait, they're here to help us. They just gave us a ladder. Wow, that's so cool. Dude, was that Vanny? That might have been Vanny, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's Vanny. Hey, Vanny. I'll see you later, Vanny. Wow. Wow, it's a fake generator, but I think this one's the real one. You sure? I'm pretty sure, Adam. I don't think that one's fake. Hmm, I don't know. One of these was real, guys. Follow the cable. Follow the cable. Uh, was it this one? Oh, there's one final last lava obby. If we beat this, that must be the real generator. Oh, right. Yeah, it's got to be at the end of this lava Dude, obby. there were two fake generators. Wow, crazy. This is so crazy to me. And we just turned it on. That's all five generators. The lights should be coming back on now anytime. Yeah, you're right. We just got to turn on the light switch. We just got to get to that button. Okay, Adam, we got to split up. Okay, go, 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 Adam. All right, let's run over and turn on the light. Oh, come on, we're almost there. Oh, no, there's Moondrop. He cut us off. Adam, he grabbed me. Oh, no, I'm going to go try to turn on the light. Adam, go on without me. Just turn on the lights and he'll turn back to be good help. Don't. Oof, my friend, Moondrop. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna turn it on right now. Take this. Woo! Oh, man, he transformed back. Thank goodness. Now we can spend the rest of our years hanging out here with Sunrise, who's our friend. Wow, hey, yeah. we're so glad you're back, Sunrise. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Oh, now we're old. Oh, I've lived several years, many, many decades. What a good time it's been. Yeah, I wonder how we're gonna oof. Oh, I'm gonna oof. Wait a minute, Sunrise, are you gonna turn into Moondrop? Oh, no, the lights went out. He's gonna turn to Moondrop. And oof us! Oh no! No! Don't! I can't even run that fast! I'm so old! Today we're playing a super fun Who Said It game! Awooga! Awooga! 
Okay, who said it? Was it Mirabelle, Meili, or Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaning towards Sonic. <laughs> you know what he always says, gotta go a <laughs> you know I mean? This easy, bro. No, guys, these are gonna get harder and harder, so play along, watch the end. We got some crazy secret ones. I'm thinking this might be Mei Lee from Turning Red. Bro, obviously it's Mei Lee. Adam been watching that movie. Adam seen Turning Red about three times a day for the past weeks, guys. I've heard this scene a million times. Sonic Foxy is gonna use her Sonic ear to hear it. Cyborg Foxy, it's Mei Lee. Lock it in, bro. All right, let's see. Obviously. And it's Mei Lee. Let's go. Ahuga. Woo! Okay, here's number two. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, okay. Okay, who said it? Was it Dory, Nemo, or Ariel that's, from The Little Mermaid? Oh, man, that's tricky. I, now, that line, I think, is from the movie Finding Nemo. Just so keep swimming? I'm thinking it might be Nemo. You think it's Nemo? I mean, it would make sense for any of them because uh, Dory and Nemo are fish, and then Ariel's a, a mermaid, and they all love swimming. Hmm, guys, like we said, these are gonna get harder and harder to so play along. I feel like I heard you can find me underwater, Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> What's so fun? What's yeah, so fun? I think it's Nemo. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I think it's Dory. I think it's Dory, because I feel like I remember her saying that in the movie. Now let me listen to it one more time. All right, guys. let's roll it back. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. All right, yeah, I, I think you're right, man. I don't think that's Nemo. I think that's either Dory or, Ar or Ariel. All right, you got to make up your mind because the timer's going down. I'm going to say, uh, you know what? I'm going to stay with Nemo, bro. All right, I'm Nemo. locking in Dory. Justin's going Nemo. Let's see what All the right, answer is. Oh, it was Dory, but that was from the movie Finding Nemo. That's why I got confused. Round three. Hello? What? That's it? Okay, who said it? Moon Boss, Sun Boss, or Freddy? Wait, that's impossible, bro. Moon Boss, Sun Boss are the same person, but we gotta know just from that. Hello? Hmm. Bro, I I can't tell now. I know that's not Freddy, because Freddy says, Hello, Superstar. <laughs> His voice way lower. Yeah. It might be Sun Boss when you first see him. When he's up on the stage, he goes, Hello, and he dives in. Or it might be Moon Boss when he transforms. I'm gonna lock in. Moon boss. I'm gonna try I'ma try out Moon Boss. I think it's Sun Boss. You think it's Sun Boss? When he does the dive into the ball pit, which I also love doing, like I, I actually think it's Sun Boss when he grabs you and he says, Hello! Yeah. Wanna be my friend? It's one of the other guys. We don't know. I'm gonna say Moon Boss. I'm gonna say Sun Boss. Let's go. It was Sun Boss! Bro! I really thought it was Moon Boss! Question four. I never wanted to marry him. I was doing it for the family. Okay, who said that? Was it Dolores, Mirabelle, or Isabella? Bro. Now, all of these are from Encanto. Very, very tricky, guys. Bro. Hmm. But they said, I never wanted to marry him. I did it for the family. Right, because in the movie, family is very important. Oh, man. Was that? I'm thinking that's either Dolores or Isabella, bro. Right. Like we said, guys, these are going to get harder and harder because the Awuga one, that one was pretty easy, but now it's getting tricky. Guys, I'm not too good at remembering lines because usually when I'm watching a movie, I like sing along with the movie, so it's kind of hard to hear the movie over my own singing. Right. I'm. I think it might be Mirabelle. I'm. Really? Yeah. I might lock in Dolores. I feel like it was Mirabelle when in, in the start when she was like singing that song about the house and getting ready and all that stuff. I feel like she might have said it in there. It might have been Bruno. Mmm, maybe. I think it's Dolores. I'm gonna lock in Dolores. Okay, I will lock in Mirabelle. Let's see who's right. <sighs> Bro, I don't. I really don't know on this one, man. Bro! We both got it wrong! We are trash, bro! Okay, here's the next round! A new playmate! Hey, yo! Okay, was that Poppy, Mommy Longlegs, or Kissy Missy? Oh my goodness, these are getting max difficulty, guys! How am I supposed to know who said that? I think that might be Poppy when you open her case at the end. She says, a new playmate! You right? know what I mean? Because Poppy Playtime, she wants a playmate. Or was it Kissy Missy? You think it's Cassie Bassy? Yeah. 
I think it might or be. Is it mommy, bro? I, dude, it might be mommy. But when have we ever heard mommy long legs talk in the trailer? So it's either I, I say it's either A or B, guys. Let us know in the comments if you're playing along how many you get right. I think it might be Poppy. Either when you open her case, she says, a new playmate where she sees you or mommy long legs. I'm gonna go uh, let me let me activate Cyborg Foxy's sonic ear. Oh, and the light up cyborg yeah, eye. Let me play it again, dude. Yeah, yeah, she told me, she told me, dude, it's mommy long legs, bro. I think I'm sticking with Kissy Missy. You're sticking with Castly Massey? Yeah, I think it's Kissy Missy. At what part of the game did Castly Massey say something or even appear in the game? I think it's Kissy Missy. Okay. Yeah. That's some good reasoning. Yeah, let's see if I'm right. I'm gonna go with mommy. Let's go! All right, Justin got a point. Next round. Let's burn this place to the ground! Okay, who said it? Was it Abby, May, or Priya? Okay, this is really difficult, guys. What is the line? Line says, let's burn this place to the ground. Now, these are all characters from the movie Turning Red, and they're all friends with May. It's not fair, bro. You watch this movie when you wake up, <laughs> when you have an afternoon <laughs> milk. And nap time, and before you go to sleep. You see this movie three times a day. I'm pretty sure I know who this is, but I don't want to say my answer, because then uh, Justin might pick the same answer as me. Oh, he, really? You he, think I'm a cheat? Really? Yeah, who really? do you think it is? <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to use, guys, this is actually big brain tactic. You can use this in school. Use the process of elimination. Okay. I'm going to say who is not. It's not Priya. Cause Priya be talking kind of like she like she's always like, hey, like she's very like calm, you know what I mean? And yeah, she, like she kind of talks like this. Exactly. Yeah, she's very low energy. I, it's either May or Abby. Who is it? I, th I think it might be Abby though. Because let me hear that again. Let's burn this place to the ground. Yeah, guys. I'm gonna say it probably is Abby because Abby gets real excited in the movie about stuff, but so does May. Ah, oh, it's so difficult. All right, what do you want to lock in? <sighs> you got it, dude. <sighs> Think hard. <sighs> is it May Lee or Abby? Like he bot says, I am computing. A is for Abby. I'm gonna go A for Abby, bro. All right, I will also go with Abby. You're gonna go with Abby, bro? Yeah. All right, if it's if it's Priya, we're gonna look like dummies, bro. That would be embarrassing. Let's go! It's Abby! Yeet. Clear skies, clear skies. What? Okay, who said it? Julieta, Mirabelle, or Peppa? What she said, she said clear skies. Right. That's a hint about the controlling the weather. Right, the rain cloud, but... Or is it trying to see the future? It might be Bruno. It might be Bruno, yeah. It's not one of the choices. Mm, man, this is actually really I, tricky. Again, I'm gonna use process of elimination. <laughs> I don't think it's Mirabelle, dude. Right? It's either Julieta or Peppa. I feel like it's Peppa. This one's getting tricky, guys. It also could be Mirabelle who said it about the rain cloud at like dinner when they were having the dinner. I'm gonna I'm stick with answer C. That's what I was gonna do. All right, I'll swap to B then. What? I'll go to Mirabelle. I'll let you have the, yeah, the C. I'm, go I'm gonna do, maybe I'll switch it up to A then. <laughs> Fine, I'll stick with C then. I'll stick, no, I am I want to, I'm doing C. Fine, I'll take Mirabelle. You're trying to mind games me, huh? Okay, guys, I'm locking in answer B, Mirabelle. Justin is answer C. Nope. I'm locking in B now, too. All right, we're both going Mirabelle. Let's see who the right answer is. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't think it's her. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm locking in. I just want to see the answer. <laughs> Bro! It was C! Oh. I definitely, that's one point for me, because I didn't even know what I locked in. Hey! Eat. Pizza! 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 Hey, yo. Okay, who said it, guys? Is it Chica, Roxy, or Vanny? That's an easy one, bro. It's not even. It's not even challenging, bro. <laughs> you say that all the time. Uh, yes, I know. At first, I thought it was me. <laughs> <laughs> then I thought it might be Cyborg Thick Shark, bro, because he loves pizza. <laughs> when Cyborg Thick Shark sees pizza, his eyes light up, guys. It's yeah, crazy. literally. Uh, that one's obvious, bro. It's obviously Chica, bro. I want the Chica pizza, bro. Right. I'm going to lock in A as well. I think it's Chica. That's Chica. That's got to be Glam Rock Chica, man. Let's go. Okay, let's see the next and one of the final rounds. 
It's past your bedtime. Okay, who said it? Was it the Sun Boss, Burn Trap, or Moon Boss? It might have been Burn Trap, dude. Mmm. I'm pretty sure it was Moon Boss. I think it is too because what he catches you, or that's like the sound he makes when he's following you around when you're trying to turn on the generator. And it would make sense that he would say it's past your bedtime because when he catches you, it's all dark and past late. Past your bedtime, Adam. Yeah, so I'm gonna lock in answer C for Moon Boss. I'm gonna go with C for Moon Boss, bro. It was Moon Boss! Let's go! I'm just gonna save the miracle. Hey, yo. Okay, was that Louisa, Isabella, or Mirabelle? So what'd she say? She said, I gotta save the miracle. I gotta save the miracle, okay, yeah. So miracle Mirabelle. I... Or Miracle Isabel. Miracle I don't think Mirabelle, it's... Mirabelle, Mirabelle, Miracle. I don't think it's Louisa, because Louisa loves, like, carrying donkeys on her back and, like, um, singing uh, uh, that song, uh, the, the really good song, the surface pressure song. I would probably say it's Mirabelle. What do you think, Lanky Bot? Beep, boop, beep, computing. Adam has no life. <laughs> what? You, all you do is sit around watch these movies. How am I supposed to win this game? <laughs> beep, boop, beep. Adam only watches these movies and Luca on repeat. Yeah, so? Is there a line from Luca in this game, bro? Well, who do you think said it? She's talking about miracles. I think, you know, I'm thinking it's Mirabelle, but I'm not just gonna do that. Again, I'm. Uh, I, it's not Louisa. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go with Isabella. Yolo. All right. It was Mirabelle, man. Come on, man. To infinity and beyond. Oh man. All right. Who said it? Buzz Lightyear, Woody, or Mr. Potato Head? What? That's the nickname your mom gives you. <laughs> um, I had a Mr. Potato Head. To infinity and beyond. Beep boop beep. Computing. I actually don't know this one, Adam guys. Has not seen this movie. Beep boop beep. Okay, I think the movie is Toy Story. What do you think it is, Lanky Bot? Beep boop beep. It is obvious who it is. I will not tell you. I'm gonna lock in B for Woody. I will tell Justin though. Beep boop beep. It's Mr. Potato Head, bro. Oh. Obviously, bro. All right, Justin's gonna lock Obviously, in C bro. for Mr. Mr. Potato <laughs> Head. <laughs> It's gotta be, man. Come on, that's his catchphrase. <laughs> to in French Friday and beyond. <laughs> Potato. Hey, yo! It was Buzz Lightyear? Dude, we're getting Buzz Light yeeted on, bro. Man, next question. What? <laughs> Who said it? Boyfriend, Pico, or Weedy? Man. Oh boy, so these are all Friday Night Funkin' characters. Man. Who said that? That's boyfriend, dude. Uh, right. I you know mean, that does kind of sound like him, although Witty. Mm, how does Witty sound? <laughs> like that. You lose a point just for that. Sound. <laughs> you get disqualified. I'm gonna lock in Witty just because Witty's cool. Because Witty's Liddy? Yeah, Witty is Liddy. Witty be ready for the spaghetti. What are you gonna lock in? Boy, I just said boy, friend. All right, let's see. Ah, it's like the first note in the first song, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's boyfriend, man. Let's go. These questions are getting harder and harder, guys. That was almost too easy. What? That was almost too easy. Was it Sonic, Knuckles, or Tails? Bro, I these are max difficulty. I have no idea, bro. I, right away, I think it's Sonic, but that's too easy. So I'm gonna say woo woo. I'm gonna ah! U-turn from Sonic, go to Tails. I feel like it might be Knuckles. Cause it's knuckles? knuckles does have a lot of lines that he says when he's punching with his knuckles. I'm gonna lock in B for knuckles, guys. See if you guys can get this one right. It's not easy at all. Lanky Bot, why are you tickling me? Beep boop beep. It is not knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it is Sonic or Tail. I would say Tails. Okay, guys, let's see who's right. See what happens? Bro, it was Sonic, bro. Wow. Are you serious? I, I gotta start trying hard. Now, what was that, guys? We either have Luigi, Wario, or Mario. Now, who says, Wahoo! That, I thought that was Mario. 
but it didn't sound like Mario. I'm gonna say Luigi. You wanna play it one more time? Yeah, guys. Th guys, these are getting max difficulty here. Wahoo! I'm gonna say Luigi, even though that's like Mario's catchphrase, man. But Luigi, you know, cause he got that L. Right. I don't take L's. Right. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's Luigi. You think it's Wario? No, Wario sounds like this. Adam plays Wario when we play Super Smash Bros. Just so he can use the fart attack. <laughs> and I always hit Justin with it. He tries to use it in real life, too. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Now, All right, I'm locking in Luigi. Okay, I'm locking in Luigi. Or should I lock in Mario? Oh, you gotta go before the timer's out. I'll stick with Luigi. All right, we're both going Luigi. Who is it? It was Mario. Hey, yo, we're garbage. Okay, this is the final round, Max Difficulty. He needs some milk. Okay, who said it? Was it Adam, Justin, or Foxy? Foxy does say that a lot. <laughs> I'll give you guys a sound clip, though. So, Guys, we can do this in real life. Adam, you say it. He needs some milk! Obviously not, I need him. He needs some milk! <laughs> he needs some milk! It's me! It's <laughs> gotta be Justy from Blanky Box. He <laughs> needs some milk! <laughs> <laughs> You're so fluffy! <laughs> 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 